Hello and welcome back to day three of our tall build in millennia. I think today is probably the victory day as we've already gone to the moon. We are shooting ahead on science right now. Our cities are monstrously massive. And I feel a little unstoppable at the moment. It's feeling pretty good. We've snowballed very, very hard. And I don't know what major threats we have. Constantly the threat of Brazil. Our ally, the USA, has kind of been wiped out by Greece at this point. So I am slightly worried that Greece is going to turn on us and make us their next target. As, I mean, once they're through the states, we're really the next reasonable focus. But we have really good choke points. I think they would struggle to get down towards us. They pretty much have to come through this outpost if they want to do it, this castle. This not castle outpost. Or they have to come across the sea. Which, I mean, they honestly, they could do. Now, I wouldn't put it past them. Wow, even my vassal states have like 15 population. Our super city of Dusseldorf. We are starting to struggle on ideology right now, but it's only because we just kind of entered the age of rocketry. And clearly we have some stuff to build. That also should give us lots of ideology. So let's start with a film studio. Actually, let's start with a sports stadium. That's apparently way better. Unrest, oppression, culture, ideology, and wealth. Heck yeah. Even better. Let's start with a performing arts center because it only takes a single turn. Munich, same deal. You got the space center there. We'll get the next thing in. Hamburg over to the right. This is kind of our newest city. They're still really figuring out their place in the world. We'll get them some artwork. Democracy looks like it needs an upgrade. We were going to get the executive office bonus here for additional knowledge efficiency. We're making 116. Now we're making 124. I mean, I'm not going to kick a, an extra eight research in the mouth. Bonus knowledge from computers and computer simulations. Computer improvements and specialists. We're probably going to want all of these. Realistically. I have a lot of towns to expand as well. We have quite a lot of towns to expand. We got the town upgrades and we haven't really been able to do anything with them. What is Kessel? Kessel must be a farming town, right? Not specialized at all at the moment. Time to get land ships and dreadnoughts online. I mean, maybe. <laughs> You might not be wrong in that. Frankfurt. Uh, I guess a lumber town. And then we'll just throw a few more logging camps in here. You know, just for good measure. I have all sorts of specialists and all sorts of stuff, but what I don't have is land anywhere. Kitchen can upgrade to gourmet kitchen. Might as well, as long as we have the power. Two gourmet kitchens? That seems like maybe too much. All of meat and sugar. How are we making so many of these? Should I? You're making one, two, three, four. Each of these uses three. I 
when we're exporting the flour. I mean, I think we can definitely find a spot to grab that somewhere else. All of these towns have opened up a bunch of extra import slots. You're exporting books. You're currently exporting spices. You're exporting fancy food. I tell you what you do. Let's do domestic import of meat out of Cologne. Dusseldorf could export olives to Zhuang. And Munich is currently exporting the most random thing. Uh, what else do they need to make this? They're exporting fish to Hamburg. Meat, olives, or sugar. Fish versus tuna. No meat, no olives, no sugar. I don't even know where you get sugar from. All right, well, they're getting what they can. That's me. Hello. Happy Friday, dude. Happy Friday. Happy weekend. Happy, hopefully, long weekend. Uh, I'm going to spawn an envoy. And I'm going to send him to Houston. <clears throat> so I can at least get better diplomacy with the Greeks. For when they decide to turn on us. I don't seem to have a luxury problem in any city, even remotely. So I don't know that I'm going to put any points into that. I think we'll just keep saving up for more artists there. All right. Happy Easter. Happy Eater Day. I don't have boats farming these fish. It is amazing how much I constantly think I have done. Only to discover I don't have it done. Yeah, like uh, so many of these locations are not being worked properly. Wealth and Explo XP. You know what, man? I'm just going to do it. I'm going to dock them all. <laughs> this docks as far as the eye can see. That's what they want. That is what they will get. I don't know where our people are or what they're working. This might as well be a logging camp, I guess. Oh, it's not even mine. Gourmet kitchen. Yeah, okay, so clearly I unlocked kitchens here. And now I'm having to upgrade them all and find meat for everybody. Let's make sure. I think that was the last one. Maybe not. Okay, we're killing the factions game on democracy. Very happy to say. I am starting to see a lot of planes in different areas, which do have me just a smidge bit worried. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. Start grabbing ideology in all of our cities. Kind of before anything else. Uh, Stuka, you're still doing great. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-
What's cool is I really like don't need to build additional guards either anymore. Because now we're going to just start getting unrest suppression from our buildings. You saw a blind man eating seafood today. It didn't help. <laughs> okay, I really like that one. <laughs> it took me a moment to think about it. SETI radio scan. Gain a bunch of knowledge and potentially something else too. Let's actually select our next knowledge first. Man, we're we're like ready to go into the next stage. I'm tempted to get this just so we have airports. But I think we're either going to want heavy machines. Or Enterprise. Probably Enterprise. Increased bonus workers in all of our regions. Yeah, let's go Enterprise. That feels like the right choice. All right, SETI radio scan. A non-organic repeating pattern has emerged in the background radio static. We should repeat back at it. Locked into the age of visitors. I don't know what that one is, but sure. Oh no, that's the crisis age. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Well, here's the good news. I have enough money to avoid every crisis event imaginable. I don't know if I have enough money to avoid an alien invasion. But I guess we're going to Independence Day the hell out of this. Oh, man. I was like, mm, I wonder what one this is. <laughs> Commission Research Project. Generate five knowledge in a region every four turns. That's so bad. I mean, I guess if I had an insane amount of government, I could probably abuse that a bit. Uh, these guys are hurting on sanitation somehow. Can I get that with anything? I don't think I can. Dusseldorf is drained on education. Converts computers to computer simulation. I don't think I'm making computers. Converts computers to data. How do I... Computers. Computer factory. Converts rare earth metal to computers. Okay, I think I actually have to start, like, moving stuff around. For example, do I really need to convert wool to cloth? For six wealth. I don't think I really do. What happened here? Why can't I export this anymore? You got no clue, do you? Turns computers. And then this turns computers into knowledge. Can I do that more than once? Yeah, actually, I make two computers right now. So I'd like to get the thing that turns computers... Paper mill, printing press, produces education, education, logs, converts T to analytics. Did 
literary salon produces specialists. You guys convert copper to iron, which gives us extra production. I feel like that... The three blast furnaces are probably where I should be moving something. Yeah, I'm not sure I need three blast furnaces here. Or I'm not sure that's the best use of my time. Uh, so the other thing was turns computers into knowledge and turns computers into data. Okay. All the late game madness. Yeah, it's going to be all about like shifting our industry over. So like this is making me analytics, but I don't really know that that's like the best use of my stuff. That being said, I don't have a ton of power here. I'm very worried about my education. Talking about that uh, 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 education. None of these are schools, do they? You demand education. You create specialists. You create culture. You create education, school district, improvement. All right, so maybe I just need to be a little wee bit patient. You got a bunch of stuff in the hills, which is kind of annoying. Paper mill, printing press, literary salon, cloud estate, sawmill, bakery. Trash heap. This guy just doesn't have a lot of room to build stuff. The mill. Public school, trash heap, yeah. Uh, all right, the clay mine and the brickworks. We could probably get rid of in Roma. And I think we could probably build a computer factory here. And if we're making computers. Yeah, I don't actually have enough to finish it. Golden Age. <laughs> Olives are used for the better kitchen. Can we convert trash heaps to sewers? Not yet. To be honest, I'm not sure what I'm missing to do that yet. All right, Greece. We now actually have access to more advanced diplomacy with you. Which we're going to try to do because I think the United States are basically rolled. And I'm kind of switching all of my people over to Greece. All my, all my, uh, merchants. National Science Academy. Limit one per nation. Requires three education, but builds a bunch of extra specialists. You currently have more education to spare than anywhere else, so I'm going to give it to you. Yeah, I think basically we just have to start pivoting the economy. It's not us changing merchants to Greece. It's more like Greece changing those cities to them. Uh, true. Hard facts. <laughs> you are not wrong. One computers, additional computers on target, bonus knowledge from computers. Computers create specialists. I'm trying to debate, like, what do I need information for? Converts foreign knowledge to information. What does information make?
data consumed for information oh information is going to be like a need it's probably going to be like a level 50 need or something like that god roma is big i'm gonna build an office oh you know what i also have an extra space here i can build something else public school into school district public school into school district literary salon into brain trust school district brain trust brain trust brain trust school district you guys not have a school district or a brain trust wow how does this city operate everybody works in the lumber yards ah that's the key if we just have them sawing wood all the time they won't get uppity dude i think rome is going to overtake dusseldorf it's certainly fast track and try it you have completed enterprise the uss <clears throat> in these kind of games it's always fun to see the computer science in 1812 <laughs> Apparently only need urbanization and urban sprawl for sewers. I don't know if it actually came in on any of these. Logistics, maybe? Energy? Recycling center. That's probably it. Are we having a sanitation problem right now? 165, 161, 166, 113. All right, we are kind of. But also aliens. And if I go to aliens before anyone else, everyone else is going to struggle trying to fight aliens. So, you know, let's go meet some aliens. <laughs> I think this is a pretty obvious choice. Plus one bonus knowledge from research computers and computer simulation. I want that. I also want this innovation and culture bonus. Reformed democracy. I mean, if I'm going to start making friends with Greece. I might as well start putting out merchants. Well, I might as well start putting out merchants. Museum there to get some early education. Roma. Uh, wow, we're actually starting to get a lot of buildings now. Executive office would be good. You are still struggling a little on ideology, but you're also struggling on power at the moment. I guess we've won the space race, so that doesn't really matter. Maybe things will change when aliens get involved. Uh, Munich, you maxed your ideology. I'm going to get you some surface-to-air missiles. Just seems like maybe a good idea. Two ideology. Power drain. Go for radio stations first, because they don't take power. And we get bonus culture from them. Am I going to struggle to fight aliens? That I don't know. Maybe. I think I have enough money to just pay them off. Thinking of reducing the amount of trash heaps by upgrading to sewers and similar freeing up space. I don't think we'll ever be able to free up space because it just seems to be like a constantly snowballing need for more and more sanitation. Time becomes arbitrary after some rounds, but I mean, without Dark Metal Ages, it could have been the 19th century where computers were invented. I mean, we are definitely a super... A, a super faction when it comes to technology. Egypt and Zulu are at war. Unfortunately, we don't know anything about them. 
Oh yeah, we have sewers in all of our cities already. It's just a building. We built sewers a long, long time ago. I can still remember. Essen, you kind of have everything you want. Exploration is backed out, so I'm going to take insight. Cheapens our research cost. Oh. So Explorer is kind of the true science. Interesting. Uh, we currently are making 134. If we take bonus computer knowledge. We get one additional research. All right. Well, maybe that was not the best choice I ever made, but what's done is done. Every little bit counts, you know. Not sure this is a good idea. Same, the same movies that show messaging the aliens is a bad idea. Also, just as the USA are the only ones capable of saving us from the alien invasion. Oh my God, you're right. Spain, who is like three ages behind us, submits for a demand of open borders. What are you going to do, Spain? I will helicopter bomb you into the next dimension. Uh, you guys built an office. I wanted you to build a computer lab. You no longer need to import clay. Could you import something like meat? Yes. Great. You're also now running low on power. And I don't really have an answer for that. Except so to put everybody into a golden age. Spain and Persia at war. Uh, Stuttgart in the south. I'm going to give you surface air missiles. Zhuo Zhang in the northeast. I'm going to give you surface air missiles. Let's prepare for aliens to attack us. Because they're probably going to come from above. If I was a betting man, I have to assume they attack us with UFOs. Uh, there are no barbarians left on the map anymore, so I should be safe to sail wherever I want. I don't really want to use things that take power if I can avoid it. Unless it's for, like, a need that I need. Which is tough, because I currently need a lot of things. We got a lot of need. Thank you, United States. I will take your gift. And I will spit on it. Maybe you should have let me have an embassy. Uh, we got enough to spawn another artist. Essen's got both, Roma's got both, Stuttgart's got both, Munich, Dusseldorf, and Zhuang Zhang have both, which means Cologne needs one next. Extra defenders in all of our capital cities. I could probably spend some warfare upgrading, like, my National Guard. 
now that we're locked into alien age. Yeah, me? Ah, uh, yeah, I'll also give you surface air missiles. You're a border city. Kind of want all the border cities to just like have, you know, some decent defense. You guys are struggling on ideology. I know you're also struggling on power, but... I'm going to have to solve one thing at a time here. Spain sends Inquisitions. <laughs> Can't confirm that we have a smith and he'll go up and slap them in front of God and country. Noroth, hello. Good morning, dude. Oh, Brazil. Brazil has declared hostilities with us again. So we can fight over neutral land. Which I think is really cute that they think they have any neutral land we can fight over. I should absorb this outpost. You know what? I should also build an outpost here. Uh, let's build it one down. Maybe. Actually, no, let's build it here. I kind of need meat right now. Meat, meat, meat. And that that's literally going to lock Brazil. They're going to be completely landlocked at that point. I mean, unless they have decided to develop something like ships that allow them to explore the world. But I have to assume that they haven't. Okay. Who's ready for aliens? Me, 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 I'm ready for aliens. I guess everything is like upgraded that can be. It really feels like I need to start like moving some stuff around, like having less sawmills, but the thing is, is in the forests, there's still nothing I can build except logging camps. Unless I burn down forests, I have to just fill them with logging camps. And it's so funny because, like... I've just been sitting on improvement points. Even though all these forests have been being worked continuously. I could be generating so much more value out of them. All of those are good. You need a logging camp. You can have an extra one. Right? Like, just not taking advantage of my territory at all here. I probably have some hills that also need, like, deep mines or quarries. Why not? I could probably be producing a lot more aether as well. Again, it's kind of a why not scenario. The population clearly needs more jobs. Okay, that's finally everybody working. That's a good question, actually. Hold on here. Does anybody have work workers that aren't working? Stuttgart has seven workers missing jobs and it has extra space here so what are these guys missing they're missing a little bit of sanitation do they have a trash heap they have one trash heap uh they could have much more aether harvesting could also have a quarry over here 
And we can build something in that scrublands for them as time comes on. All right, let's go meet some aliens. Couldn't get hunting grounds in the forest? No, only on um, open areas. Take the timeline into the age of visitors. Aether harvesting does not sound bad. Yeah, it will help solve this, the uh, the money problem a lot. Oh! I think all of my towns are under siege by aliens. <laughs> Alien mothership. I think I just spawned alien motherships on every city on the map. Uh-oh. Aliens have invaded the Earth. Alien motherships have appeared in each region, destroying its surroundings and spawning invaders. Alien invaders seek to destroy your goods tiles, turning them into deserts. That's actually not bad for us because we're spice traders. Destroy alien motherships with your air force. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And salvage the wreckage to obtain alien technology. Regions now have a need for information. The final age approaches, considering what victories lie ahead. No. Time is almost up. All of the ages you can move into this age are victory ages. The first nation to move the game into a victory age determines the game's victory condition for all nations. Default conditions apply, such as other nations being defeated. Modern machine guns, natural museums, yada, yada, yada. Wastewater processing. Nice. Upgraded sanitation. And upgraded suburbs. Human relations. Number of towns. And other things. Area 51. La Bamba harms units in a target location. Heals units. Elite task force. Bonus versus aliens. Bonus versus aliens. Bonus versus aliens. High energy weapons. Low orbit photon bombers. Okay, we are probably going to take this path. Low orbit interceptors. Photon railgun tanks. Photon submarine. Spot a modern machine gun when your goods are abducted by aliens. Generate ideology when foraging from deserts. Combat units gain attack bonuses against aliens. Hydroponic firms. High energy batteries. Matter condensers. And smart grids. Information. Work for information. Converts three computers to information. Wow, okay. Reveals all fog of war. Digital library building and converts two computers to knowledge. The media network and internet backbone. How many tickles does it take to get an octopus to laugh? Ten. Ten tickles. Wasn't it me who said we need ear power to deal with it? Look, this is why I built all those surface to air missiles in most of my cities. The age of XCOM. It would be the Germans who take advanced enough in engineering to make contact with another species. As far as it goes, pretty complimentary. All civs are now in the age of visitor or only Germany. Only Germany. Which means that all the other civilizations have to fight aliens with sticks and stones that might break their bones. But little do they know that these aliens don't have bones. They're just goop. They're goo mans. All right, we can have the Age of Transcendence, the Age of Archangels, the Age of Departure, or the Age of the Singularity, which is another crisis age. What's really fun is none of these tell me what the victory conditions are. Age of Departure is obviously leave the planet. Age of Archangels looks like it's destroy everyone with satellites. Social tracks completed. Now, I might be able to do that. I don't know what the smart grid is. Uh, we get bonuses for supercomputers. They're like half price for us. So that might be a good idea. Uh, I think I am going to take high energy weapons, though, because I'm clearly going to need something to fight these aliens. 
I'm a I'm a wee bit worried about them that are aliens. Thankfully, I have a fair bit of upgrades here. Oh, can we upgrade you to a master artist? We can. Let's put you in the town. Uh, I'm going to temporarily move you guys out so that these guys can move in. Oh, man. I do not have enough armies present for this. Can I blow up a spaceship? Not blow up a spaceship. Oh, buddy. We are in some trubbies. Dude, if I am in this trouble, all the other nations in the world are destroyed. what planes are for clearly i do have some planes for example this plane oh everything is out of range boy i probably should have made some more planes <laughs> steam fighters that's the best we got. Surely our hot air balloons will be able to take down these aliens. Ah, they won't know what's coming. Yeah. This is... Hilarious. Just going to absorb some stuff down here. Don't mind me. Don't mind me one little bit. Not even enough. Uh, Cologne. You might as well make a steam fighter as well. Stuttgart, you might as well make a steam fighter. All my vassals also get hit with it. Okay. If we focus on the landing aliens, we have a better chance. Possibly. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> we got ahead of ourselves here. Devs on Discord misrepresented their game. They implied during the demo we could get seven towns. One, two, three, four. I think we're up to five, but that I think is max. Guess we're hoping the aliens get a common cold. I mean, fingers crossed. They are attacking my towns, which is kind of interesting. 
Military research to maintain the democracy of Germany, the nation must be at the cutting edge of weapons technology. The nation's best scientists will team up with defense manufacturers to ensure this becomes a reality. For sure, crisis ages are going to spawn like crazy during this age as well. Uh, let's go after the aliens here instead of the motherships. Much more capable of doing that. Uh, but these ships are blowing up all of my, my provinces. And it looks like they will rapidly spawn invaders. How did you guys do here? Uh, you'll hold again. Those guys held. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is, uh, this is not going to be easy. All right. You're an air fighter. You are meant to automatically attack things is my understanding. Once per turn, it's meant to automatically attack units. Oh, we're going to lose so much stuff. But again, if we're losing so much stuff, I cannot possibly imagine what the computer is like. Well, also, we need a crazy amount. Each population requires one information. All right. Well, it just slows us down a little bit on growth. It's not crazy. Too bad. Is age just going to be massive amounts of war XP? Yeah, truth. True, true, true. Uh, I'm just going to unlock both of these so that it's done. I don't really need either of them, but why the heck not? Two completed social tracks. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I could maybe do diplomacy and arts. I think it would be a struggle, though. Dev's challenged you to do a thousand tiles, but I guess he didn't know the details. Wanted to make a 500 tile mega city. Four towns, you can only hit 250. Again, I think five towns... Because there is there is a, another town upgrade in this age. Silicon Valley versus Space Invaders. Oof, man, we're going to lose so many improvements. But we're hyper engineers, so being able to rebuild improvements should be easy for us. Yeah, I'll take open borders with Greece. Pick those dweebs out. Capital attack these dweebs. Pick these dweebs out. So did you attack? I don't think I did. These guys need to heal. Uh, 
Ooh, you know what? I think I'm going to bring them up. Leave these guys here in Cologne. Okay, Dusseldorf does have an army here. So I'm going to hope that they attack them. You can go there. You're good there. Hamburg, let's make a stream steam fighter. SN just got surface to air missiles. Let's see how they work. <laughs> well, they don't appear to have done literally anything. So I guess we'll see. I'm just going to start pumping them out. This is vicious. Grab tolerance. What does video game studio do? Converts computers into culture, wealth, and production. Oh, and we have the MMORPG buff here, so we also get a bonus from computer simulation. It's an improvement, which is really annoying. Uh, right now, I'm going to take plus one to specialists. Outdated trash units throw down the aliens is hilarious. The alien ships self-repair. I do think so, yeah. I think I'm literally not capable of doing enough damage right now with the units I have. Get a 300 combat power army in the Middle Ages, but I guess a single 275 power unit has a massive defense and HP. Yeah, the um, the the spaceships have a thousand, thousand, a hundred defense. So I think it's literally I just can't penetrate the armor. Sat tech, which lets you see other nations. Yeah, there is. There is. Um, I think it's called information in this age. And it literally reveals all fog of war. All right. At least the National Guard are holding pretty strong. You guys doing okay up here? Yeah. You know, I'm going to get you to build one more of these steam fighters. Airships are for dropping bombs. And I think I'm way more worried about these UFOs than I am with bombs. Uh, I'm just going to let these guys guard the city. You guys can attack. I mean, I'm putting dents in them. Where is my incendiary child? The old HMS Thunderchild. Those guys are slowly working their way down, it looks like. Um. Yeah, there's a bunch of aliens down there. I'm going to bring this army over since these guys seem to be like staying put. Are 
I love that I built surface to air missiles like in preparation for the aliens and I'm like oh they don't do anything effectively have no no effect <laughs> But I love this scramble right now. Can you make a steam fighter? Where is it? Did we move it? Mm, you know what? I'm going to Eureka. So that I can move to high energy weapons. And then I think I'm going to pick up resistance. And then I'm going to go through all these towns and I'm going to swap these steam fighters over to better things. Aircraft against aliens, much better. Yeah, low photon orbit bombers. Or low photon, low orbit interceptors. These are what I want. I can't upgrade my steam guys just to these, can I? Sure can. Not that I have enough to do it, but I have a little bit. Considering the steam guys are doing basically nothing for me right now. This is also going to give me an unstoppable air force for the rest of the game, which is kind of funny. Tip earlier said that you can't attack them with fighters. You need bombers. No, it said the fighters auto attack other air units in range. I need to make bomber units instead of the fighters. I'm going to take a look at this tooltip again. We'll open up the, the Civipedia. Slight amusement that you go from steam powered weapons to lasers. Uh, they're not lasers. They're photon cannons. Thank you very much. Hey. Second wave. Deep space telescopes are detecting a reinforcement wave of alien invaders inbound. We can't afford to let them into orbit. We need to assemble more forces. Uh, uh, uh. So I obviously have enough money to stop this. But I'm pretty sure chaos events affect the entire globe. More alien material later. I was also thinking about that. I'm probably the only one set up to fight aliens at the moment. Auto attack other air units with the UFOs are technically ground units? Really? Interesting. Okay. Very good to know. On capitals, not capitals, so it's probably one region. On regional capital targets, iron. Oh, uh, you might be right. All right, let's just pay it off then. Let the chaos reign. Money, Gilded Age, capitalism. Money Gilded Age Capitalism is a civilization that is invading from another solar system. We love our Gilded Age. Alien Mothership. I think you might be right. You're telling me I got to swap all these guys out to Photon Bombers. Or Photon Railgun Tanks.
<laughs> All right. That'll be interesting. Who did this guy get attacked by? An alien submarine. Ooh, it absolutely spanked me. You guys need to heal. You guys got to kill these aliens. Yeah, we're definitely going to have a problem with all these aliens. Because I don't have the armies to fight them at the moment. Rush the bombers? Yeah, probably. I think so. Right. You scum sucking aliens. Let's see what you're made of. I'm starting to run into problems because I'm now also getting unrest in all of my cities. It looks like. I think you guys are right in that we should probably rush some of these bombers. 3,500. I only have 46,000, which means I could probably rush 10 of these bombers. Which is so many bombers. And I feel like one per city is probably going to be enough. Just blew up all my housing here. I want to go to the cities who have bad production for some reason. And focus on them first. These surface-to-air missiles really seem to have done nothing. So... Oh, interesting. You guys make them in two. You make them in five. We'll rush one here. Let's start with this one. I want to see what it's capable of. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, I might pick up a leap task force. Two point five attack versus aliens. Defense on capital. This is also my defensive guys. We get a bonus. Combat units gain an attack bonus against aliens. One point five. I think I need a lot more of those bombers. I think you're right on that. Um, so much so. That I think I'm probably going to want to like combo them together. You guys are nine and eight down here. Ooh, buddy. Uh, let's get rid of the aliens here first. All right, they're at least good at that. I didn't realize we had moved into all of these hills for aether harvesting. Okay. Uh, 
Um... Bad idea? Let's not do that. <laughs> I'll check it out. Let's not do that. I just saw my other, my steam fighters actually came in on that fight there. It looked like. But we're still going to need, we're going to need more ground units. We're probably going to need photon tanks, to be honest. I think that's what I should be pumping out right now. Making photon tank armies. Oh, man. If I am struggling this hard, the computer must be absolutely pooping themselves. Completely and utterly. They must be having a real bad, bad time. Bomber deals 80 damage, much better than the five from before. Yes. Lord Gawains, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the agency. Steam fighters escorted, but probably had no air units to engage on. I think that's probably a good, good guess. Taken heavy damage, dealt no damage. So you guys are just going to vibe. You're going to keep moving in. You guys can do a bombing run. Okay. If we use them together... How much trouble are you in right now? No, you'll hold. Oh, I didn't actually kill those guys. Oh, god damn, dudes. my army down at Stuttgart. Didn't I have an entire army down here? Did I move them? I thought I just told them to stand still and heal. There's a military base to build photon railguns. I don't know why I'm attacking this. I should be attacking the other aliens. Pretty worried about where that army's gone right now. God, these are chonky ships. Maybe they'll just appear next turn. Or maybe they have been destroyed somehow. destroyed <laughs> I 
I also believe I lost an apartment building here. Oh, man. <laughs> Brazil's like, oh, we're no problem. We're ready for these aliens with our with our horses. Why does Brazil not seem to be having any problem with the aliens? Why am I the only one fighting motherships? In fact, quite literally, am I the only one fighting motherships? Maybe it doesn't spawn aliens. I mean, if all these cities are under siege, they have to be being attacked. Uh, okay. You're going to move up here. You guys are going to double bomb him. You're going to double bomb him. We are making progress, but this army got, this army got wiped out. Uh, as did my entire defense force. Yeah. All my National Guards in Stukar got destroyed as well. Was it La Bamba abducted by aliens? Do they work like that? Fight these guys off. Yeesh. I mean, I really, really like how much of a threat the aliens are. Even as technologically advanced as I am, this is like, all my towns are like falling apart. <laughs> and aliens are just like pillaging the countryside. I'll have to get a nice shot of them outside of Dusseldorf here. I do wish you could like spin the camera. Is it possible to see what buildings are damaged? No, it doesn't actually show. You just have to look for the smoke. Um, which is fine. How is Roma doing? For the most part, pretty good. We're running some like power infrastructure problems, but it's minimal. These guys need education. I don't think they have a school board in here. And they're probably going to need some more sanitation and stuff later as well, but I might, I might just wait to work on that. Is this a weird crisis age? Yes, this is the alien crisis age. It don't get much weirder. Town Hall boosts ideology efficiency for five turns at the cost of 10 government XP. Oh, it goes up and I can only cast every six turns. Okay. Well, I think I'll just start spending money on better things. Oh, we unlocked corporate R&D.
work for knowledge exploration converts computer simulations to research paper. That's kind of cool. I don't really know where I could possibly put that right now. I can't really think about building while everything is being attacked by aliens. Like, I meant just, like, scramble the defensive force. Estate agents are getting aggressive. Yeah, they just completely delete things and turn them to desert. Desert's really not the worst tile. It's going to cut down on food production, but that's, like, not really our biggest issue. Quite frankly. Bump. All right, I've got those aliens. Bombing run, capital attack, regular attack. Decent shape. If they attack, I think they just get killed. So they can stay and defend. Uh, we got another stealth bomber over here. Plus that stealth bomber. Plus a capital attack. This alien mothership is almost down. That one's coming along. What do I even make for you, Essa? You don't have a harbor? You have a dock. Oh, right, because we've never unlocked any... <laughs> We've never unlocked, like, any C technology. Super funny. I can't make railgun tanks because I don't have a civil defense center here. I don't have a military base, actually. I need to upgrade that twice if I want that. I'm going to make another photon bomber. You're going to make a railgun tank. Munich's going to make a railgun tank. Um, can you fly to any of these cities? No, you can't actually reach. I could put you in Freiburg, actually. So we'll do that. Didn't Munich have an army as well? I'm certain it did. Like that got got defeated? Nothing should be getting defeated is the thing. I think there's a change about alien motherships abduct troops next to them. A notification for that happening would be nice. It does just look like I lost a troop out of Stuttgart. I'm pretty sure I just saw that with my eyes. That's the case only bombers make sense. Yeah! <laughs> what? 
<gasps> what? Greece wants an alliance. I'll take it. Yep. Um. Okay. It also, I think, just deleted a bomber. It deleted an entire army, a bomber, and like everything else. Is this a terrible idea? Well, you're still alive. So I should only be making bombers, probably, if that's the case. That's almost dead. We're extremely close to getting that one. Like, I wonder, can they only do it if you have, like, no morale? Is that what's maybe happening? Roma, do you have guards? Oh, they're just outside the city. I'm gonna just buy two of those. Can you reach this guy? Oh my god, you can. That might be enough. Ooh, close. Very close. There's also no photo icon, so I guess they're not defeated in normal combat. Two troops disband at zero morale. No, not normally. That's why I'm like, oh, this might be something. All right, so you're a photon tank. How do you hold up against aliens? Pretty good by the look of it. Yeah, Hamburg has just lost everything next to it. Including the bombers that were in that city. Does it say something about that in here? Motherships appear in the Age of Visitor. On their turn, they either destroy adjacent armies or spawn alien invaders. Motherships leave the region once no more good tiles. If destroyed, they will become a unique good tiles that can be harvested for alien technologies. Okay, so it's literally just like you're meant to just make bombers. Uh, but it does appear that they also destroy bombers. And they destroy National Guard. <gasps> alien technology. Cool. Five knowledge and one innovation. That's actually massive. Uh, and we can start moving our bombers out of there now, too. One innovation seems huge, right? Isn't it? I think so. We have the elite task force now as well, so we can start making better defensive regiments. Which I'm going to need because a bunch of my cities are entering huge riots because they're being attacked by aliens. <laughs> Make bombers and keep them not adjacent. Yeah, seems to be the key. Wow, Greece loves us.
All right, we got a couple elite task force snipers. Computer factories generate unrest suppression. That feels like it's going to be really useful at the moment. You're my only bomber there? Yeah, I think so. If two bombers up here... Thor's making photon tanks. You know what? I weren't putting all my tanks and or all my bombers in different cities. Yeah, the interceptors do come with them. But you still have to kind of move them all individually. Now, how will these guys do if I send them in? Taken heavy damage, dealt no damage. Okay. So not you. A submarine destroyed a fish and turned it into a desert. That's actually good for me. <laughs> I'd appreciate it if they did a little bit more of that. All these bombers are at risk. They almost have that mothership destroyed. Go pick up resistance. Seeing as we're halfway to it anyway. You're really having trouble, man. Uh, I need these guys to make... Riot shields, I think. 12 unrest suppression. I think they are my new unrest suppression dudes. Four. 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 Yeah. How many of the motherships are active? All of them. Everyone that you can see is active. There's one on every single city in the game. At least that's what it's meant to be. It does feel like there are only ones on my cities. So I kind of got the feeling it doesn't actually spawn the motherships until you reach this age. Brazil has them though, I'm now seeing. It might just be that the computer was way better set up to wipe these guys out. Like you do, yeah. That's kind of nice. 
Uh, let's have you bomb that. You can bomb that. Hell yeah. Salvage wreckers. Wipe out some aliens. Got two photon tanks. Ready to do damage. Now, I might lose this army to this mothership. We're going to have to see. Hey. Feels like if you play wide and make their 50 cities at this point, this age would be even more insane. Yeah, I actually think there is some disadvantage to going too big. Because all your vassals would have to find ways to defend themselves. Now, that being said, depending on, like, what things you take, you can also get powers that are, like, spawn units on vassal cities. So there is some assistance. Uh, I'm going to have to bomb these guys first. Just so they don't destroy anything on me. Stuttgart National Guard. Oh, wow, that's interesting. So they actually can't make defensive units anymore. In the Stute. Is that enough to suppress? It's actually not. What can you make that adds riot suppression? Any of these? No. Hmm. National Security Office. I think some more bombers would be good. I feel like the thing is, is like bombers aren't going to be bad because it's still going to help me like absolutely whoop anybody who threatens me. Hamburg, I'm severely concerned about at the moment because they can also no longer make military troops. I don't understand what's going on with these guys because they should have technically wiped me out, abducted me a long time ago. Get in there, Munich. Yeah, all my cities are shrinking now as well. Make mechanical sense of their spawning to be linked to the age of the affected country, but narratively, it's a bit weird that it could lead to them politely waiting for their neighbors to reach the right age before traveling there. Yeah, I want to take a look at the, um, to see what age everybody is in right now. Oh my God, USA is in big trouble. And the other thing is, is like technically they just attack goods tiles. They don't attack other things. Oh yeah, only only me and Persia are in the Age of Visitors. Poor Spain is in the Age of Enlightenment still. And everybody else is stuck in rocketry, so. I reckon it's probably not us. Destroy that army. 
All right, let's wipe this ship out. Didn't mean to attack them, but I'm kind of glad I did. Elite Task Force is going to move up to those tanks. Uh, yeah, this bomber can attack these guys. Who am I going for with all of my new bombers up here? I can leave the Americans alone. I think I probably need to focus this mothership at this point why can't we attack that it's clearly in range perhaps it's not in range That one's a little bit weaker, but I'm... I'd like to protect my capital. Spain and Persia are at war. Guys, don't you think maybe there's something more important going on right now? Just a thought. Just like maybe we should focus on, you know... The other things that are happening. Like, I don't know. I'm just going to put this out there. The alien invasion. We might want to focus on the alien invasion instead. Maybe. Essen's doing great. Essen has like 100% on everything. I guess because they are also probably the first city I defended here. Uh, let's give them a military base so they can start producing some troops. I'd like you to start producing a ground force. As strange as it might be. Oh, Hamburg's going to be in huge trouble. Munich is almost cleared. So that would be... Uh... Why are my National Guard not on the city? Hey, we might have a rebellion there on our hands. No way. Absolutely no way. You can just bribe the aliens. Cost to 80 diplomacy. Basically free. Practically free. I make 29 diplomacy a turn. Every three turns, I can bribe an alien ship. That seems like it shouldn't work, but that might also explain how the computer got rid of the aliens so fast. That's a bit much. It's a bit much, isn't it? Well, we just fast talked the aliens and they left. We didn't need any fancy photon weapons. We just said, hey, 
What if your ship just crashed into the earth? You also get alien wreckage from it, which I think is the funniest part. Yeah, sure, Brazil. I'll restore neutrality. Uh, you're... I said you to Stuttgart. All right, well, this UFO can still get blown up. Some things we can solve the good old fashioned way. Taken medium damage, dealt no damage, win 100%. Organizing so fast, I can't even get everything here. Uh, do I send you against the tank? What is my plan? Is that a full army? No, they need one more. Taken light damage, dealt light damage. I mean, we sure didn't do a lot of damage. That's for darn tootin'. blow this ship up already? No, I guess not. Well, that's a bit of a whoopsie. All right, I can raise armies. to help me deal with some of the growing menace. Good luck with the rest of the invasion and game. It's time to celebrate the weekend in the Netherlands. Enjoy, my dude. Universal language bribes. That one came in via U.S. Greece. I mean, is the U.S. just getting destroyed completely by aliens? I would believe it. Yeah, this one here keeps coming into my territory. Okay. 
super effective. Uh, let's bribe this one. Goodbye, aliens. And then let's carpet bomb the hell out of this guy. Hell yeah. What's really fun about this is like no other army has a chance of attacking me at this point. I think our military has just become so up to snuff. Like that's going to be it. All right. We can go back on actually upgrading our cities. Which I'm very happy for. You guys are still getting unrest. Anything I can do to stop that? National Security Office. Military base. Stuttgart should be fine. Now that we have a second unit there. Munich. Not really, but they will be eventually. You guys can chill. Oh, that is a UFO at Soonsval. So I think I'll just start relocating. Some of our bombers. Probably not into Soonsfall itself. We have extra bonuses against the aliens now as well. Uh, my God. What's the one with supercomputer? Information? Supercomputers. God, what a mess. We'll grab another social fabric point. I don't know how to get smart grid. I don't see that anywhere. Oh, stellar energy. Creates 10 power. Ooh, wow. That would be really helpful for us, actually. That'd be really helpful for us. I'm not even sure I can spawn artists anymore. I don't think I can build up to 446. Fairly certain I cannot. Uh, okay, I do need to figure out like what's been destroyed in my towns. And what I can repair. Not sure these guys ever had a waste heap. hurting a lot on food kind of think it's up to them to figure that out our grid is dumb d-u-m-b dumb clones doing fine munich is a mess this logging camp doesn't make a lot of sense i'm actually going to just Clear cut this village. Did your trash heaps get destroyed? I 
think they must have. Uh, these guys desperately also need information, which pretty much only comes from offices. Except they don't have computers. Ah, do we start getting rid of burial mounds? Converts grapes or wine to culture. I think we get rid of you. And then we build a computer lab in there, which I can't actually afford. Suburbs, sanitation, and housing. Oh. Forty housing to ideology. Well, I mean, you kind of needed both, so. I am not sure what we lost in Dusseldorf. This is a bit of an annoying thing is that they don't tell you what was here beforehand. That was a tea plantation. I'm kind of okay with losing that. Confusing when things like the oil refineries also produce smoke and the wreckage produces smoke. All right, we're currently making data. I'm not making any extra computers here. Can I import computers? I can import oil. Well and truly noted. What happened to the aliens? We committed some genocide. We definitely committed some genocide. Work for knowledge exploration converts computer simulation to research paper. I don't think I make computer simulation. Doesn't look like it. I could build another oil refinery. What I really need to do is start clear cutting logs for land. I'm just gonna upgrade all those. All right, I'm probably going to save this for something else. Uh, Roma, how are we doing? I don't think you really lost anything. You turned out to be pretty okay. Uh, but you're struggling on a lot of stuff. Sanitation, power. You're mostly struggling because of unrest. Which is giving us half efficiency. Essen, you're still being hit with an invasion from the north. Trojang, you... Looks like lost a trash heap, maybe? Where is your trash heap? Here. Uh, I'm really not sure where the sanitation issue is coming from here, so I'm just going to build them another trash heap. I know they also need information, but it's literally one step at a time here. Goodness gracious. We gave them money and they left. We didn't even give them money. We just, we just talked to them, really. We had a nice, polite conversation. Computers into culture, wealth production, and computer simulation. 
Maybe. Maybe. Stealth bombers are good against ground units and bribes work against any species. <laughs> upgrade the sewers. Oh, in the towns? Yeah, I think we can upgrade sewers. Yeah, all of this forest is really... I should be spending engineering points just dealing with that. But I ain't. Two alien invaders at each region only in Germany. No. If this was alien motherships, I would take it. Because they'd get me more innovation points. I'm making 20 innovation points a turn right now. <laughs> Which is a wild number. It's really good. Uh, I'm going to move this army up to Freiburg. You guys are going to vibe in Stuttgart. Y'all are going to start carpet bombing Soonsvall. Oh my god, now that we have resistance fighters, our bombers do so much more damage. Can you hit that guy? No. I don't really want to help out America, but... They're kind of messing my stuff up right now. I think like sending a bunch of uh, fighter jets in to just bomb rebels out of this territory. That'll show them. I don't really want to leave the city. send you up there. Whoo, boy. National Museum would get me more education. Be a nice little help. Aliens be like, oh man, these homies can talk. We gotta get out of here. There's a lot of ethics and morality. The moment they can start talking, it's like, ooh. We thought these were just backwards monkey people. Turns out they have brains and plasma weapons. <laughs> Maybe we leave them alone? I think my bombers at Soonsvall just got deleted. Private schools. A free nation such as the democracy of Germany allows its citizens to speak their minds. This is an effect on the nation's wealthy elite who have decided to create their own league of private institutions. Schools generate plus five wealth. Sure. Why the heck not? Uh, looks like we're done dealing with rebels up here. Okay. Oh, yeah, just a handful of leftovers now. Let's 
Student Vol, congratulations. So many bombers. It kind of feels like an excessive amount of bombers. Uh, Cologne, you are struggling for unrest. And you can't really make people. Uh, I would need the National Security Office in 15 or a military base. What happened to your guards, Cologne? You have two riot guards, future riot guards, and you're still having riot problems? That seems incorrect. I'm not a riot specialist, but... Grab a national security office in Munich. Dusseldorf, we'll go with the museum. You guys can wipe out that army in a capital attack. I think we're back on track. Age of space attorneys. They learn to talk so fast. There's a legal problem now. Armies don't do legal problems. That's for the space attorneys to deal with. You're the strongest garlic aioli in my life, pet. My paint will fall out of your breath if you breathe out. I kind of hate when people over garlic things. I'm a, I'm a sensitive boy to garlic though. I might be a vampire. It's not entirely figured out yet. Definitely my body does not love garlic. Get him, army. XCOM. You're welcome, America. Don't you forget it. I guess we better blow this one up as well. Man, German Space Force is pretty stonks. I didn't realize quite how stonks we had gotten. All right, we have energy here. What we don't have is education, sanitation, and information. I'll take engineering for now. Same as these here. Wow, I can just do this every three turns. Increase the city's population by two. That seems... Kind of busted. Dusseldorf's up to 50. These guys aren't making any dents in the aliens, so I'm assuming the rest of the world is just going to get set back by aliens. While I catapult into the future right now. Persia declares war on us. We're going to go into a golden age. We've almost unlocked, unlocked United We Stand, which spawns assault rifles based on our number of allied nations. Cannot be used if you're engaged in unjustified wars. What else do we get here? Faction headquarters plus one knowledge plus one knowledge. Do you see this last thing? 
unlocks ability to spend wealth to rush research if it's mostly complete. That's pretty good. That's pretty crazy, to be honest. Where do we put our army? Stuttgart? Bremen? Trier? I guess. Put them on the border with Brazil. In case more of those gosh darn aliens show up. Yeah, I would love to see if there is a... Like... You can upgrade combat animation speed. But you can't just turn it off. Like, I definitely don't need this pop-up every time. Another UFO destroyed. We might as well blow up this. Actually, we might as well blow up anything our bombers can get their hands on. Because I'm just realizing it is free experience for our bombers, which means if anyone decides to fight us, they're going to have to fight super bombers. Which seems like a fun idea. Stuttgart National Security Office. Let's get you... Congressional Hall? Roma's struggling on a few things here. One of which is just power. We'll grab them some more Aether Harvesters. A revolutionary attack has happened outside of Hamburg. Which, admittedly, comes as some surprise. Probably don't want to spend too much of my money there. Uh, I think I have some bombers somewhere down here. I need to start moving some guys around. For Andresa, where are my interceptor armies? I have two in Dusseldorf. Uh, okay. I'm going to put you guys in... Maybe both of those in Dusseldorf is the play. They're not really on the front lines. It'll be okay for now. World loves to treat us badly, so they want to hide their incompetence in dealing with the invasion by declaring war on us. Let them try, I say. Technically still at war with them. They're just trying to invade us. We lost the respect now. We can deal with them, I guess. 
I, I mean, yeah, I guess we're still at war with the aliens, but they're not really our problem anymore. <laughs> How they deal with the rest of the world is a different story. Brazil wants open borders. Get out of here, Brazil. You hate our guts. You've always hated our guts. Why do you think I'm going to give you open borders? What do you think I'm going to come in there and solve your problems? Well, I'm not. We've unlocked smart grids, hydro firms. Are smart grids improvements? No, they're buildings. Matter energy condensers and high energy batteries. Okay. So we could enter the age of departure or we could rapid build five smart grids and enter the age of archangels, which looks like <laughs> exterminatus. I think we're going to do Exterminatus. How do our snipers deal with these rebels? <laughs> Pretty good is the answer. blow up both of these no they're just gonna focus on one okay uh and these guys can't really reach so we'll just send them north All right, so we have hydroponic firms, which are slightly better wheat production at the cost of, of course, power. I just can't, I can't import computers. Which is frustrating. I can import power though. Aether. You know what? Let's um let's build an aether refinery here. I actually don't need to import extra. Would that be better? Shoot, if I made that two petroleum into four power, it would be. I'm going to blow that up. We're going to build a uh, oil refinery instead. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to just import additional oil. And then I could put a second guy on that oil refinery. Bada boom. All right, whatever. It's better than nothing. You misread the shift plan. You're on shift tomorrow. Oh, on the long weekend. That sucks, dude. Munich rebels have appeared. Don't ask me where. Oh, they're there. Uh, Cologne could probably deal with them. I don't want to help out Brazil at all. Uh, 
Oh, okay, for some reason I'm still just seeing the vision for these guys, so I, I don't actually think I can move bombers over there. Yeah, I'm getting all sorts of weird mixed up. Stuttgart. A bunch of university students are grabbing some sticks. Quick, use the stealth bombers to get rid of them. America. Back from the gym. Chris Lord, hello. You missed most of the aliens. They showed up. We stealth bombed the hell out of them and then just paid the rest to leave. America, you're not for real going to try to settle a province down here, are you? That would be a crazy play. Fire in Cologne. Problem solved. Uh, this army is at Dusseldorf. We'll move it down here. Take another level of organization. Hamburg here is struggling. Keep this unrest in check. I think I'm actually going to... Do a public exhibition. Un reduces a large amount of unrest. That is a large amount of unrest. You weren't lying when you said that. Uh, these guys could actually probably move down there then. I don't mind attacking the stray aliens. I'd rather attack them than the spaceships. Shuazhang got a chief engineer's office. We're still really struggling with information in this location. We're actually pretty good on power here. Oh, I need to build smart grids in like every one of my cities. I forgot about that. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So that'll get us the age of archangels in like eight turns or less, probably less. Once I have enough of them, I'll just probably just buy the rest and we'll be good. Riots, here's how we deal with them. Just carpet bomb the hell out of them. Why not? Capitalism isn't planet-wide. Aliens like money. Yeah, we just we just gave them bribes. Diplomatic bribes? But I don't know. <laughs> they don't cost wealth. They just cost diplomacy. They were even willing to crash their ships into the earth for us to research. They wanted our friendship so bad. They wanted our healthy handshakes. We're making 29 innovation. It's crazy. <laughs> it's like every four turns, we get an innovation. Just like riots in real life. Zulu and Brazil have formed an alliance. It's crazy how few towns Hamburg has. 
kind of think building a logging town here might be good for them. In fact, I think I'll do that next turn. I could just go into more Golden Ages. But I like that it would shut our borders off if I did that. And it would stop America trying to like sneak settlers into my territory. I guess I have open borders with them, so it doesn't really matter. Look, they did, they did it. They built a town in the middle of my super forest. That is just asking for a war. Hilarious. Rude dudes. Straight to war. Our longest running allies? No, straight to war. <laughs> All right, that's just solve Cologne from rebelling. Smart grid already complete. Uh, all right, some extra ideology here would work. Nice. Hamburg just grew a lot as well. Uh, I think they actually couldn't grow anymore until I build them a town. They were at max pop. Humans are more messed up in every sense of the word. Have you not bothered with the Navy? Seeing the rest of the map is still covered in fog of war. I literally don't have a single Navy boat. I think I have the one free ship that you get from researching, like, from building your first dock. And this is the only boat I have. Oh, why I got kicked out of that town. Draw Zhang completing their smart grid. Bad education, bad sanitation. Uh, <laughs> Dusseldorf's got its film studio. That's going to require more education if I do it. I probably should get surface air missiles here. It is my capital. So two turns, five turns, one turn. So I'll rush those other two next turn. And then we'll move into the Age of Archangels. Which I think is a weird military victory, but like, man, whatever. It's probably just build a lot of satellites that are super lasers. And I feel like that's not something we should have problem doing. That was a big, that was a big leg spike. I heard that the end of the game gets really, really rough for interns. Oh, you know why? It's because I researched something and it gave me a bunch of upgrades all around. It had to like calculate those upgrades. Remember shoop to whoop? This brings me back. I do remember shoop to whoop. We will be charging our lasers. <laughs> that is correct. I think the aliens is also causing a lot of end turn shenanigans because it takes so long for them to get anything done. Uh, I have so much government XP. I just have to spend a hundred of it because I can't actually unlock social fabric points. All right. What is this? Digital libraries. Give us information. Okay. This is huge. Data centers. Work information. Converts computers to info. Converts computers to knowledge. Oh. oh! I'll tell you why the game liked. <laughs> I'll tell you why the game liked. It's because we discovered the entire rest of the world. 
Uh, Zulu. Egypt. This has got to be Persia, this super nation. Yep. And then Spain is really, really tiny. Okay, so this is what happened here. Is that Persia took out Spain. And that's why they started snowballing in comparison to everybody else. Meanwhile, I just sat and got fat. I just became a fat boy. All right, well, that's more information, but the problem is, is that it's not more computers. And I actually need more computers. So this bonus to information is really nice. Uh, okay, hold on a moment. Smart grid. Smart grid. Age of Archangels. Because we got the power. Why not? Paradox game isn't a compulsory to get late game lag. Yeah, I think a little bit. Yeah. Entire world out there. The case for every 4X game with a certain amount of units. Yep. I sat there and got fat. The story of my life. Listen. Sometimes you just got to do it. Hamburg is running a food problem, so... Can I buy a grocery store? Seems the most reasonable. Stuttgart is running... I wouldn't really say any problems right now. Zhuo Zhang is running information, which a digital library would really help solve. Munich, same deal. You're also running a power issue. But one thing at a time, I guess. A bunch of my towns have also expanded and I've not built. So I should probably go around and just do like a round of that. I love that I have burial mounds and literally nobody is working them because they would rather just work random sea tiles. I guess I'm not mining this coal either. One thing I'd really like is if you could just get rid of improvements. Plasma energy grenades. We've battled the invaders long enough that we've been able to reverse engineer their technology and develop a highly unstable grenade. We have a limited supply and should only equip our senior officers with these tools as a last resort. Leader action, plasma energy grenade. Do I have any leaders? I don't think I do, but I certainly could. Let's make one of these tanks into a leader. Leader X. IX. Destroys all nearby aliens. Applies 50 damage to select the target. Wow, that's really good. That army is 656 strength. Nasty. Digital library. Roma. You're going to need also a digital library. Dusseldorf. You're going to need a digital library. Government. Let's, I don't know, man. Hold a town hall in Dusseldorf. I love that I could just start pumping up populations. Ooh, wow, Roma really fell behind for a bit there. This swamp, I literally can't do anything with it. Just a bit of a disappointment. I think I can deep mine this coal. That school district is burned down, which I didn't realize. Notification that would be like, uh, you have burned down districts would be a really cool notification. Like, you have districts that can be rebuilt. I would like that.
Just as a thought. Uh, what do you guys need? You need information. Do you have computers? You don't. But you do have rare earth. So if I was to give you... Computers. Supercomputer converts computer to knowledge. Computer factory. What can we build out here? A matter energy condenser. Converts steel to energy. Oh. Converts computers to data information. Oh, well, that sounds good for you. Oh, perfect. 200%. So all I really need to do is build data centers. I should just burn down some forests and build some data centers. It's clearly the answer to my information problem. I should also probably clear cut some forests and build some more computer stations, computer makers, computer factories. I don't have enough specialists. All right, let's calm down. Highly unstable grenade, loose cannons with nothing to lose. Are any of the other nations close to your power? Yeah, Persia is. Persia is actually like just behind me. Uh, it did look like the plasma grenade was a one-time use, but I think it's a last-ditch use, is, is the thought, because it does damage to your own unit. Oh, Brazil! I have a big army for you! Dude, Brazil would not know what hit it if I tried to just, like... Can you imagine the carpet bombing that would happen? It would be insane. I love that also the computer has just started giving me gifts. The computer has clearly just been like, you know what? You're stronger than me. Let's call a spade a spade. <laughs> you got me. Uh, where is school? Search function would be really nice here too. It's a small thing, but I would take it. I had so many of these places not being properly worked. Where's all this oil going? Dusseldorf. Okay. So I probably don't want to get rid of that outpost then. You're a lumber town. Education, sanitation, information, power a little bit. I think we'll build them the high energy battery. Uh, Stute, you're looking pretty good right now. You're only really missing housing. Oh, and a bit of sanitation. Housing is tricky-ish, but not that bad. I can actually build some right down there. Next turn. Crushing, you need all sorts of stuff. Let's go to the film studio to get your ideology up. Munich, you mostly just need power, so let's go high energy battery. What do you have against carpets that you always talk about bombing them? More of a rug type. <laughs> More of, a, more of a shag rug into the shag carpet. What's the difference between a rug and a carpet? This would be a really good time if I had a one-liner. <laughs> I, I didn't come prepared. What are the chances the devs are watching your stream and listening to general suggestion? I mean, it's never zero. United we stand... 
Tolerance. We got up to five. We climbing. Yeah, nobody else is even pushing into the final age. <gasps> AI singularity crisis charge per supercomputer improvement. Thirty supercomputers. Turn computers into computer simulations. Hey, don't we also have uh, video games? Video game studio. Oh my God, look at Stuttgart. Look at this needs. Absolutely. I also need to remember to take a photo of like unlimited golden ages. I obviously really like the idea of the singularity age. Rugs are considered to be floor coverings that are portable or movable, finished in standard sizes and don't cover every single inch of the space. Carpets mass produced floor coverings sold off a roll fixed in place and go from edge to edge all right then i am more of a rug person i like carpets but i prefer rugs you can do more with them looks like everybody's cheating <laughs> everybody's getting the good rug notes how long has this outpost been here that i haven't built anything inside of it do you think it's been a really long time? I think it probably has been. I guess let's make it a castle. Outposts really need some more upgrades. The fact that castle or monastery, I think are the only ones you can make. Seems a bit funny. Essen, you have almost everything you need. Well, some production wouldn't hurt you. I think we're fast tracking the super satellites. Love a good rug. Carpets can't be cleaned well. Agreed. It's much harder to clean a carpet than it is to clean a rug. You can cut a rug and bags can be made out of carpets. Christy, those are good answers. Welcome. Good morning. Someone with dust mite allergy. I cannot like carpets or rugs anymore. They're comfy, but I enjoy breathing freely. A flood. We can fix that. That's not really a problem. I suppose I should gather up all this aether. Just because of why not. These guys need more population. I could actually just start dumping guild training in here to get them pops. It's an option. Hamburg, you got a grocery store. And no executive office. Hundred and fifteen power in this place. Goodness gracious. Give you some ideology. Yeah, I mean a really good vacuum and like a air purifier really helps with those kind of allergies. My partner found out she's allergic to uh, are the cats that we have because they shed so much. We like our cats are super long fur and, and love shedding more than anything else. 
And so, yeah, we discovered that there was a, there was a serious allergy on that front. And we just got a really good vacuum for it. We finally bought a vacuum instead of the vacuum that we found on the street that our neighbors threw out. Which is the vacuum we were using for years. Uh, so we finally got like a proper vacuum and then I bought an air purifier and it uh, all, like pretty much changed everything. So breathing oxygen. Why are you like that? Rugs are for munching. Carpets should fit the drapes. I think I think that's correct. Yes. Oxygen addiction, the national scourge. Atmosphere being oversaturated with oxygen nearly killed all life ones. I believe it. Oxygen is poison. Shedding is something cats do on purpose. Yeah, I mean, they got to do something, right? My room air filter was very good purchase, but no carpets was also a huge quality of life. Yeah, I just I'm really big on um, sound. Loud noises annoy me. So I like uh, I like being able to soft walk around everywhere on the rugs. Also, you know, it gets cold in Canada. The Archangel laser weapon system has a stockpile of reserve energy used for orbital navigation. Our engineers have found a way to safely tap into this power supply and boost the weapon system. We got an innovation immediately upon entering this age. This is the final age. It's now or never. Build the Archangel Satellite Array Improvement to control the Archangels. They can eliminate major populations and regions in the blink of an eye. Destroy another eight Archangel Satellite Array before they can use it on you. Build city shield buildings to delay firing of another nation's Archangel Array. Achieve victory by controlling more than 50% of the world's living population. <laughs> I'm literally doing exterminatus on the other half of the world. Victory in this age is built on population. <laughs> Persia's like, uh, uh, well, maybe, maybe we should be friends. Maybe, actually, maybe we don't want to. Maybe this is what a little squabble we've been having. Maybe we don't want to get out of here. Oh, now you want an embassy with me, United States. I will allow that. You are now in the victory age of Archangels, a military focused victory. Can you believe this? I can't, I, I didn't know I was going into a military victory. The first nation to have double the population of all other nations combined will win. This is generally accomplished by blowing up everybody. The satellite array can be built and used to fire a space laser at other capitals, destroying that region's population. Build fusion power plants to recharge it faster. If another nation has control of Archangel satellites, you can raise their satellite arrays to stop it from firing. If you don't like giant space lasers, research technologies that allow you to reduce populations in other ways. If all else fails, you can use more traditional military methods. I don't love the idea of just space lasering everybody. Oh, it's tempting. Super increased population growth. Clone farms. High roller casinos. Reduce target regions population and increase the population of all your other regions. So this is like a hostile immigration. High rise housing, education center. I don't know if this is going to be possible. Incite Rebellion raises all key improvements in a target region for arts power. <gasps> I can't believe I went military here. I did not mean to do this. Radiation Lab, Weapon Lab. City Shields. Fusion Power Plants. Work gives Archangel Charges. AI bombers, AI tanks, reduce region population when destroying towns, and AI, AI rifles, AI submarines. How close am I to winning? Twenty two percent. Six 
It's a lot more than I thought it was going to be. It's not a war crime if there's no one left to judge you. We're the good guys. We're the bad guys. I mean, it's definitely not clear at this point. We're going to have to wipe Persia off the map. They're pretty much my only real threat. Spain is still in the age of Aether. <laughs> Poor Spain. Um, okay. How do I use the Archangels? Is, I guess, my next question. Seems like it should be pretty fun to shoot. We should go for that laser. I mean, look, I'm going to have to just like nuke Persia off the map. So we're building Skynet and destroying ourselves on the way to do it. I wonder if you can just vassalize an entire country. I remember there being a power for that, but I can't remember what it was under. I think it was under like a, a, a social domain that we didn't take. Future, there is only war. Oh, man. This is going to get crazy. Here I go, genociding again. Just put a warning on the local mayor's house in the basement behind the door. Beware of leopard. So they've been warned and therefore chose to stay inside during the attack. Laser others out for existence. The more peaceful option can be explored some other playthrough. This was meant to be the peaceful playthrough. <laughs> All paths lead to exterminatus. So it has been written. Emigration is obviously going to be pretty powerful, especially because like my government is almost, well, it's not really like almost maxed out, but I tend to not need it that much. I tend to have more points than I need. Uh, Munich. I'm going to upgrade walls in case other people decide they want to get their super weapons online. I'd like to be a little bit prepared for that. Get a little more culture out of Dusseldorf. Ooh, that looks cool. I vote this. I also vote for Exterminatus. Got to be on the Geneva checklist. What's more peaceful than nobody being alive? I love that it's not even like you can threaten the other people and be like, hey, we have a giant satellite array. You're coming under us or like we're going to wipe your entire country off the map. It's like, no, no, no. Just start wiping their country off the map. <laughs> have they done nothing wrong to you? Why not destroy them all? Get a little boost there. A little boosty baby. Oh, Persia came to the moon. I was wondering if anyone else would come to the moon. Uh, ba 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 We'll go high energy battery. I still probably need to transfer a bunch of stuff around. Or just start cutting down forests. I need to just start cutting down forests is what I need to start doing. This has always been the case. And I've just been like too precious about my engineering resources. Are you, are you sure you want to do that, Brazil? It's not going to go well for you. Like, if you're sure about it, we could declare hostilities. But I think you're going to regret that decision. I think you're going to regret it a lot. 
Uh, I'm going to split these fighters up. So that I have more active coverage on that front. Just in case. Okay, what are we doing down here? Engineering. Imagine your people going, okay, that's it. That was time too many. Bombers were fun. Time for space lasers. Looking back at the ages, this is the most peaceful option to leave the planet behind. No, there is one just called the Age of Departure, which is the standard one, but I decided to go for this one because it looked funner. I thought it was just going to be like, oh, if you build a giant satellite array, you win the game. I didn't think it was going to be destroy every single person on the planet. Which, like, maybe I could have seen that coming, but I certainly didn't. The problem is, is, like, also my cities are having trouble growing because they're all too big. Dusseldorf has a desperate need for computers. I'm pretty much everybody is just going to have a desperate need for computers. Somehow you're dying in ideology. Uh, I think it's time we start getting rid of burial mounds. They're simply not giving us the value of what we need. You guys also need computers. minerals <laughs> I never bothered to discover rare earth minerals But I reckon that's probably a good idea. We'll go into another golden age. Uh, you guys are a little low on food and sanitation, so I guess I'll get you a grocery store. Sanitation, education, information. Might as well make some cash. Demand the Great Barrier Reef. What fun is it to build giant death toys if you don't get to use them, right? Beatles the Death Star in a surprise. It's the military room. I thought it was a defensive system, okay? I thought I was making a defensive de decision. Could have been a moon. <laughs> it's no moon. Poor Spain. They are not going to know what cooks them. Computer factories for everybody. Roma. Get some batteries. Munich. Uh, that museum will help you shore up that small education gap you have. Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf, you're just kind of buying the last things now. At this point, if you ever got the point of developing a giant space earth shield, it could be called Reef. <laughs> the Great Planetary Reef. Some good old decimation. I mean, the worst part about this is I just don't have a military. I have a lot of spaceships. Archangel weapons upgrade. It uses highly concentrated energy. Does the same nuclear fission when it strikes the planet? We should have developed a better understanding of nuclear physics and apply these lessons to upgrading the Archangel. 
City destruction threshold, 150%. 50% city population destruction scale factor. Yeah, okay. This sounds good to me. Aha, uh -huh. you know what I'm going to do right now? Ooh, what are you guys? Rare earth mines and steel furnaces. Okay, now that we have rare minerals. Did all of our fishing boats just get upgraded? Yeah, but they all need power to run. generating 27 tuna in this city now you might think isn't that too many tuna but you'd be surprised it turns out it's not uh stuttgart is generating a bunch of rare earth i would love if we could peep possibly export that rare earth to other cities like Dusseldorf or Roma who currently need them. Boy, rare earth is rare. This is like the only one I'm seeing. Oh, man. There's one up here, but I can't take it unless I blow this up. <laughs> Which, you know, I could. So this means I'm very limited on how many computers I can build. Unless I find another way to make rare earth. Which I don't think I know how. Now I know what Elon Musk feels like, I guess. Uh, Zhuang Zhang, you actually don't need any of this stuff. So, we're going to put you on tech. I'm going to start hyper teching again. I know I said I was going to clear cut forests. But also, there's other things I need. All right, that helps solve it. What do I have that can make uh, information? Convert steel to energy. Oil data center, I said. Converts computers to data, but I'm not making enough. Ah, Archangel satellite array. Limit one per nation. I understand. Now we can blow up the world. We're just hiding it in the forest next to the public schools. Couldn't import it because we didn't research it before. Oh, maybe. Let's take a look. A little annoying that the map doesn't wrap. I hate that you can't spin the map. That's something I would definitely love to, to see. It's going to take me 99 turns. To charge this. To charge in my laser. Is this really going to exist on the bottom of my screen the entire time? I guess so. Two 
two power drain, 10 unrest, 50 housing, but it loses the ideology upgrade. That sucks. That's not good. Ooh, wow. The public school upgrade also gives information. How do I use this? Government domain power. Must be a regional capital. It is a regional capital. Must target one of your regions? Interesting. So I can spread people out of Dusseldorf to all the other places. It is, it's one population in exchange for like many population. But not that many. Uh, okay. What do you need? Education. Munich, you don't need any of this stuff, so you're also going to start going on tech. Uh, Dusseldorf, you also don't need any of this stuff, so you're going to start going on tech. We're going to start tech hyper snowballing again. Love to see it. Archangel too cool instead of pew planetary electron weapon. <laughs> That's a very good acronym. Uh, we need the fusion. The fusion reactors help charge it faster. So that's what I'm going to start building towards. Project Reef is presented by Project Dawn for the Power Coalition Apparatus and Project Obelisk for power distribution. Project Lancer will bring the stuff to space and Project Treasure Hunt to claim the resources via atomic fusion from solar flare particles. <laughs> Nuclear fission reactors, yeah. Work the satellite field as well. Uh, yeah, that's true. If we're not doing that, which we're, we're actually not. Good call. Where are you, giant satellite field? Oh. Well, that's a pretty big increase. You guys not have a school? Zhuo Zhang? I don't think you do. I uh, don't think you do. Education Center. Wow, I love how Education Center just like solves everything. Golden Age. Pew MK2? No, Pew Pew. <laughs> We've upgraded the Pew system, sir. It's now the Pew Pew Pew. <laughs> we skipped a generation. Is hunting still really necessary? Here's the thing. Kind of. Because I get meat from hunting and pretty much all of my places have kitchens. So, like, sort of, kind of, but not really. Um, uh, let's go tower crane. I can't believe how much this education and information bonus you get from upgrading the schools. One thing we got to keep an eye on is that like Persia doesn't start making archangel weapons. Because they're in the age.
and it would be really hard for me to figure out where their array is unless the game gives me a notification about it. And I doubt the game will give me a notification. You actually need a housing upgrade, so I'll give you that. You have lost all ideology generation in Cologne. So let's get you a film studio. Hamburg does not appear to have an education center. yet precisely innovated workaround planetary electron weapon longer acronyms still need a meaning you think alien ships don't have things on them I think they all do I'll double check but that's good innovation for us so uh, I'm very curious, like, if the Archangel is only going to destroy a single thing every time it hits. Or if it's going to destroy more than one. Salvage Wreckers, Salvage Wreckers. Salvage Wreckers. Salvage Wreckers. Good call, salvage wreckers. Good call, salvage wreckers. Good call, wow. I missed one or two to say the slightest. Almost that fusion. One more turn. I'm literally thinking about just like burning down all of these forests, taking out all of these logging camps near Frankfurt and just filling this with fusion reactors. Seeing how many I could possibly fit in here. Pew pew, please and thank you. Post electromagnetic wavelength planetary electron weapon. <laughs> it's a great acronym. Oh. Mass immigration. We're so close to capturing the entire world under our control. The citizens of the world understand this. Gain two population in all cities. That only gave us 1%. Uh, yeah, I'll take that research treaty. America. Work for 20 power. I guess cloning is not a bad idea. So, work for 20 power. I guess this solves all my power problems. Every one of these has an Archangel charge. If I build 10... I believe I generate an Archangel turn every turn. Archangel charge every turn. We are going to build 
safety nets. Just tack on a couple of city shields. Because I'm assuming they protect us. I don't actually know. None of the weapons use electrons other than for electricity. Stop selling their good names. It said it uses nuclear reaction. Like there's a nuclear reaction going on inside the satellite, which is how it fires the Archangel charge. Wodin, you would be our specialist on this. Ooh, we're going to start making a lot of boom. I like that I can make like two of these a turn. Uh, I guess I'll keep casting immigration. I suppose I can just start doing it between these two towns. Oh, I suppose I could also... Oh, right. That wasn't... I didn't have room for that. We're almost at Rush Research. And becoming the de facto leader of democracy. Pop limit in Stuttgart. It needs its region level increased. Uh, pretty much the only way to do that is build towns. And unfortunately, you don't really have room for any towns. So, Stuttgart, I think you're capped, buddy. I might need a military just to take over other people's cities. <clears throat> Are we going to have a referendum vote on what city to erase from history? I think we could do that. It's obviously going to be a capital. What do we delete? <laughs> what capital do we delete? Persia, Brazil, Zulu, Spain, Spain, Persia, Zulu. Who is that other faction? Egypt. I'm currently allied with Greece and the United States, so I'm not going to blow them up yet. You have two minutes to vote on who we fire the Archangel energy system at. Who gets the big deletion? The time is now. Make your decisions. We must continue our conquest. Let them suffer the consequences of their actions. Listen, if we don't teach them a lesson, they're never going to learn a lesson. Uh, my dudes, how do I make ideology? <laughs> I don't understand. Video game studio? What late game tech gives me ideology? Brain trust? No. Is there none? We might just be... Existing. Chad has voted to solve the Stuttgart issue. The voice fits really well, though not as much as it would in an age of singularity. Yeah. Well, you can change the TTS. Depending on, uh, you know, if you, if, you, if you sub or if you give to 100 bits or more, you can, you can do custom TTS. Uh, I literally don't know what gives ideology. Hammer and tool on the city thing at top. Aha. Thank you. These are buildings, but I need to know what improvements give ideology, and I don't think there are any. In fact, I'm almost certain now that there isn't. 
So I think I've looked at all of these. Alright, well. City shield and back to technology. You guys need ideology. My fellow Germans, today we will rid ourselves of our mortal enemies, Brazil and Persia. R.I.P. Brazil and Persia. I guess you're going to be the first to go. You guys tied it? Brazil and Persia tied. All right, well, look. It's going to be Brazil. Because I'm the tiebreaker, and I've hated Brazil all game. Cannot target unrevealed territory. Are you kidding me? I have the entire map revealed, but I can't actually see their towns. All right, well, let's blow up Fortelza then. It didn't even destroy it. Their sacrifices will not be forgotten. They will go down in history. Oh, man. Okay. Culture. I think we can just go to tech with you as well. Dusseldorf. I think we can just go to tech with you as well. You're actually running low on food, believe it or not. We're going to get a grocery store. <clears throat> Time to send the AI armies. Oh, this is why I'm lagging. I turned on all the uh, overlays. Got to get someone on the ground to kill a, a get a kill streak. Call it in. <laughs> um, oh, man. We are actually going to have to start building armies. What a nightmare. What a zoo this is going to be. I could definitely do with an automate city button at this point. Well, hmm. 36.51. Oh, wow. I didn't realize the elite task force. 52.40. is not as good as just an army. Hmm. Uh, a couple more fusion reactors would get us an archangel system every single turn. So I'm going to see what I can do. Just to get that online. Uh, woof. Not a lot of room. Okay. I think that's one a turn. He thinks. Kill like 30 pop didn't even change the percentage. Can I eat the Brazilians and the two birds? I don't think my teeth and digestive system can handle the stone. Land ships from Leviathan. I think they're from the uh, the Age of Aether was land ships, but we never ended up building any. I could automate my cities by turning them into vassals, but 
I would get a lot less resources out of them, I'm pretty sure. What do we build? Intervention? On build, 150% Archangel City Destruction Threshold. That sounds pretty good for us. Yeah, let's start with that. Okay. <laughs> I believe we've solved a problem. As the Archangel gets more powerful, so do we. So. Where do I build more fusion reactors? The great question on everybody's lips. There we go. We now have a fusion reactor, enough fusion reactors to fire every single turn. So we're just going to start walking over Brazil. Unit values are all over the place. A bomb canoe can kill a modern DD. The world is in shock after Germany blasted a Brazilian city with a new orbital laser system. We asked about the German representative about the transgression. We will do it again. That is all. Oh, you wanted to know if we'd blow up a city? Yes. Did we blow up that city? Absolutely. Are we going to continue blowing up cities? Absolutely. How do I best move forward on this plan? I think I have to go to war with Brazil. Pretty sure that's the only way forward that I can see. Now, unfortunately, my armies are designed to fight aliens. Goodbye, Salvador. I'll take all this city space back. Hmm, we're still not recharging every turn. Clearly, I need more fusion reactors. There we go. That might do it. There must be some sort of limit we're hitting. Uh, Hamburg needs trash receptacles. So I am going to just build a trash heap over here. Everybody's at war with Brazil. Oh, I love it. We can just shoot all of their merchants. Where are all my armies? You guys are snipers. I need to start saying, like, guard... Guard two. I feel like otherwise I'm never going to be able to make any sense of where all these troops are.
Guard three. Guard four. Guard five. All these recon balloons, in theory, in theory, could start being used to get me a closer look. We'll give them a shot and see what happens. This is terrifying to watch. You're scaring me. We've gotten a little mad with power at this point. You assume you use the weapons and armor of modern new times. They might actually be pretty efficient. Press for comment. The German representative declared, I'm firing my laser before emitting a bout of mad laughter ending with a coughing fit. That sounds correct. Oh, I think my snipers just got dunked on though. This is the problem is I don't have an army. Ah, but I do have an unlimited number of bombers. Archangel weapon upgrade. The system uses highly concentrated energy to sustain nuclear fission when it strikes the planet. We've developed a better understanding and increased the Archangel weapon system. How do we do against the city? Good enough, I suppose. Oh, we're close, Rio. Uh, where are all of my bombers? How effective are they? I don't know, pretty effective, I would say. Unfortunately, most of them can't reach the Brazilians. It does seem to be my largest issue right now. Uh, these guys have to come, I guess, this way. How am I going to see the other side of the world to blow it up? It's going to be a huge issue for us. A huge issue that I'm not entirely certain of how to solve yet. We can blast USA City in the middle of Germany. We're friends with USA still. So, like, not yet, but probably pretty soon. The great news is, is if I can't blast them, they also can't blast me. You know, this landship is not that bad. I might build one. I don't have the ability to travel across the world right now. Can't see any of your cities. Uh oh, oh yeah. Hydroponic farm can become a clone farm. Okay. Few of those around we can upgrade. I'm really struggling on ideology, but I'm also not entirely certain it matters. Seeing as I've already unlocked super tech, like we're already the de facto leader of democracy. No 4X games where error is a massive killer, but killing units and taking no hits is very valuable. Super, super valuable. Some periods, Civ 6 had really strong air units. It's just they get in super late. So it seems that it causes a traditional nuclear blast when it hits the surface, so it would not recommend conquering the Archangel's territory. <laughs> yeah, with a little radiation between friends.
I still can't see you somehow. Hmm. Hmm. What if I force merged my units? All right. Well, we can destroy up to 35 population every turn. Which seems probably pretty strong. Oh, two of those guys have no movement, hey? Hmm. Well, I don't just want to go in there willy nilly. Willy, sure, but Nilly? No way. Here we go. I can now see these two sets. Ooh. Brazil has got a few armies going on here. First, let's bomb whoever we can out of existence. Y'all are just too far away, aren't you? Hmm. Kind of rather attack these armies down here. They seem a little more dangerous. They have helicopters. Go, my combat balloons. Democracies backed by war crimes. Here's the only problem. I wish we didn't go this route because I could have probably won the game in like 20 turns if I just went tech. And instead, this weird military population victory um, is going to take me way longer to beat. But hopefully not like too bad. In theory, if I could just like send some scout units across the seas... Rebellion. No, I don't think they have. We've unlocked the military industrial research, giving us radiation labs and weapon labs, making our weapons even more powerful. And I better go back and find out how do we sail? Air unit capacity. Oh, that's pretty nice. Ah, there we go. I haven't figured out how boats work. <laughs> so I'm just going to try to solve that issue first. Blam. Kablam. I love that it kills all of the armies in the city too. Very cool. Thank you. <gasps> Did they blow up my balloon? They did. Couple rude boys. Oh, it does look like they're coming for that outpost. And I am not certain I'm going to be able to stop them on that front. Unless you can Archangel an army. Which we honestly haven't tried. But it's not a bad idea. Sure, rebels against the leader. Again, who built giant death laters. I'm sure that will end well for you. Ah, I don't know that it will. <laughs> the stealth bombers, very limited range. We could upgrade the stealth bombers to like a higher tech and they might get better range. Um, I'd have to look at it. America's bringing down balloons, which is kind of fun. 
I'm wondering, is there a tech perhaps that lets me just see the other side of the world? Like something that allows, gives me like an exploration power or something like that, or a culture power that gives me vision. I would assume it would be a late game thing. But I do severely wonder about it. Logistics would be good for maximum army size. Global networks. These are buildings that produce information. And these are buildings that actually produce 10 ideology and information. Global networks would be smart. Like a satellite? If only I could put cameras on the death laser satellites. Yeah, that's kind of the problem I'm having. Increased population at place. Tanks, bombers, air attack range is eight compared to seven. Okay, so if we took devastation, our bombers would get a little bit of extra room. AI submarines, AI rifles. Archangel Charge and Wealth. Well. Uh oh. Always like one off being able to see it. They destroyed an outpost. Uh, that was giving us some ores. Not really a huge deal. Oh, damn. And it looks like I lost a ton of troops over here. not very good. Boom, boom, boom. Not enough room. Why is Hamburg making assault rifles? It's a weird choice for it. All right. Can we get vision on anybody? Not on you or you. The thing is, is I just need a way to sneak into their cities. And I guess the secondary question is, is do I need to be at war? What if I sent envoys at the enemy? And we might actually be onto something there. We might actually be onto something there. Kind of funny because he can't actually get that close to my cities. Or he runs into all sorts of problems. Uh, Yeah, I guess you could build a weapons lab up here. Dusseldorf. You could build a rad lab. Oh, wait. Dusseldorf is building me armies.
which so far is doing a pretty good job at. That's not your town. Uh, so we have, what do we have? We have two machine guns. We have one land ship and one submachine gun. Let's give them a second land ship then. Nothing I can fire at? Such a waste. Can we fire a laser at an army? I don't think so. We basically killed one Brazil city while not being at war. Because the thing is, if I can sneak envoys into their nation and just walk around and not be at war, I could just wipe them completely. Like, I could wipe Persia off the map by just literally walking an envoy through. The envoy of death. So to speak. Ba -da -da -ba -ba -da -da. Ba -da -da -ba -ba -ba. It also destroys everything within one radius of it. So let's try to keep that in mind. Like, maybe I start sending the recon war balloons overseas. All right, a land ship. Earlift. Oh, that's fun. So these guys could probably use another submachine gun. You're going to start going overseas. Uh... I'm going to start, like, rapid bombing these guys, probably. Just out of range, hey? Logistics. We'll pick up global information because uh, it, it's going to solve my ideology problem. And then we'll start moving back into the fancy tech. At least they can't really, like, do anything against these guys. And once I build armies on the back lines, I can just airlift them to the front lines, wherever the front lines might be. Probably the edge of Munich. Wonder why Brazil never attacked us during the war declarations. They've got some good armies. I mean, they attacked us multiple times, and we just pieced out automatically. <laughs> we had so much culture that we were like, what if we decided not to go to war with you? And they were like, well, I guess so. I guess that's all we can do about that. The Archangel system has a stockpile of reserve energy. Plus 10 Archangel charge. I mean, it was already fully charged. So does this mean I get two shots? Is overcharge a thing? I really enjoy wiping armies out with airstrikes. I see why Obama did it so much. It's rather fun. They still have a lot of big armies around. I'm hoping we can get rid of them before they cause us too much trouble.
fingers crossed. This research is done. Uh, we'll pick up Devastation. Start advancing the bombers. Go get your next submachine gun, and then... I guess a question I have... Is it's actually better for me... to hire one elite task force sniper or perhaps to steal the one down here. Oh, never mind. They don't have any levels. Uh, the task force sniper guys are from a uh, higher level tech. So, uh, you know what? Let's just rush this. If I get enough Warfare XP, I can make them a better leader. No, I can't. What did we have that made that really good leader? I thought this army, this army, this army. Yeah, this guy's got a leader IX. It was a, uh, it was a tank, a photon rail tank. Ah, we got the money for it. Let's just do it. Uh, so that dweeb can just go wherever. You guys can move in here. We can airlift you all to Bremen. Oh, you need to target a friendly airport. Okay. So we're just going to march down to these guys. Man, our bombers really can't hit nothing. It can be a little frustrating. Hamburg. Media networks, I suppose. Watch for that 600 army. They might kick your envoys into this as well. This is Brazil before resisting heroically. Yeah, I mean, I'm still like 741 against like 400, 577. Not having a leader in this army is obviously giving them a pretty big debuff right now. What's nice is also like America is starting to send down troops. Where are my bombers? Are they all separated? Yeah, I think maybe they are. Maybe I can't reach anybody. How do we do, future army? Okay, legit not having a leader is uh pretty bad. Must be a regional capital. I didn't think it would make that much of a difference. How wrong I was. All right, dudes, four turns to get across the sea. Try and catch up with everybody else. Uh, you know what? I'll bring that assault rifle over to rejoin up with these guys.
We're on the edge of Sao Paulo. I think I'm just going to go up here. I don't even know if an air balloon can actually travel by sea. It's going to be a good question. City Shield. Probably need to check some of my other cities like Roma, Shopping Mall, Munich. We can fix our ideology problems here. Population limit at Zhuang Huang. Okay, so how am I meant to do this? I guess oh, by only the only thing I can really do is just destroy everybody on the map because I can't actually make my cities any bigger. Um, I'm, I suppose maybe if I expand my towns, yeah, that will increase my pop limit. Just that little bit extra. I better be able to nuke people with an envoy. Otherwise, this is going to take forever. <laughs> A computer is just ignoring my army. They're like, we'd rather go around. Looks like your city is probably a funner, a funner fight for us. Wow, man. Even three units, they still do like enough damage to seriously. To seriously do damage. Do I have bomber teams in the north? Like singular bomber teams. I feel like I must have a bomber team up here I'm not thinking about. In Roma, maybe? Yeah, there we go. At least there's no barbarians in the world that we have to worry about. We got that going for us. All right, well, I can reach this city. How can I not see this city across an open field? Cannot target a vassalized territory or outpost. Oh, I'd probably lose this. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> I feel like that doesn't make a lot of sense. Like, he's already rebuilding the cities I've destroyed. Okay. We can't put our hot air balloons. At least we have that going for us. There's culture diplomacy. You kind of need more ideology still. Airports would be nice. Build the airports wherever we can, really, I suppose. The Age of Archangels, the Archangel satellite system is a giant super satellite system that just blows up everything from space. 
Okay, my army got dunked. My recon balloons and helicopters. I actually can't believe how much not having a leader matters. Like, it's, it's a little absurd how much more a leader does. Ah, uh, he's going to probably sink me with those guys. I got to stay away from Zulu. They're up top. Wow. Okay, I was pretty heavily wounded in that fight. I don't think I realized how heavily wounded I was. Is that everything I got? Yeah. <laughs> I love seeing these like Napoleonic soldiers marching towards me. Bam. So I'm assuming when I destroy these, this last town, this has got to be his last actual city. You're a vassal state. You're a vassal state. You're a vassal state. You're a vassal state. I, Brazil must get destroyed completely when that happens. He says, totally unsure if that's actually the case. Age nine leader gives a 90% bonus. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, that capital attack is not gentle. I can rush destruction for 8,000 bucks. So yeah, why not? We get artificial intelligence next. AI tanks. These would be level 10 leaders. All right, so I need a lot of warfare XP is what I'm kind of starting to need now. I suppose. Balancing for future tech feels a little off. <clears throat> yeah, it does feel like they shouldn't be, be able to get so far. My future bombers should be doing a lot more damage to like early age units. They also seem to be able to heal quite a lot between fights, but that's also because of the, like, reinforcement mechanic. Mass immigration. Two population for every city. Oh, my bombers are all ready to get upgraded now, too. I mean, I can't move there. That's some shenanigans. Babylon is not a full city, but nice is. And Chip. Shalola is, and Istanbul... Oh, no, actually, they're not. All right, so we're going to head towards Nice with this guy. Uh, and you guys are going to head towards... Belo Horizonto. <laughs> Blew up an American troop there. Uh, I'm confused. So they only have vassal states left. And 
And yet, they are not destroyed. Shield City. Yeah, I guess so. If leaders are that strong, does that make France actually good? I mean, it, it can if they have good leaders. How do we get Warfare XP? Mostly by fighting things. Unfortunately, we need to fight things instead of just blowing them up with a giant space later. But also, in theory, uh, by the time we're done with Brazil, that should be it. Like, we shouldn't need armies for anything else, I don't believe. Those guys are done. These guys are upgrading bit by bit. Uh, you are going across the seas. You're going across the seas. You're going to head down here. The test of whether or not this works is going to be pretty important. I suppose I should just start spawning settlers to now take over all this territory. Right? I can't tell what his capital was. <laughs> it's so blown to smithereens, I can't even tell where it once was. Pop limit again here. Uh, so I need to expand towns. kind of building everything one capital region in the water did you see that wrong i think that's just a vassal state game's a lot more amusing in the later times it definitely gets a pretty funny when you can just blow up a city in a single turn it's like having rapid fire nuclear weapons i don't love that you have to like travel so far to see them you are correct that is a capital city you're 100% correct. Good eyes. I think that's the city. Let's move these guys to Frankfurt. Uh, Y'all can keep moving across. You're going to keep moving in. You're going to move towards this vassal. All you boys are going to go sleepy time. Bye bye. Stuttgart, population limit. I'm not even like, like I'm unlocking extra import slots and I'm not even using them at the moment. Uh, 
I'm just kind of like building everything in a city because it's kind of why not. Fortefelza is a British uh, Brazilian main city now. Okay. So I suppose this ends up being the problem is all the vassal cities will be rapidly turned into main cities when suddenly they realize they don't have any other cities. Unclear how much of a real issue that's going to be, but it might be. I want to know whether or not we break neutrality via nuclear attack. I can't enter their territory. Envoys can, though. Portofelsia? No, that's still a vassal. Kind of dumb you can't you can't just nuke these <laughs> all right we're gonna heal here let them come to us Cologne could actually take on another town, so I could just grab this guy. Um, yeah, maybe. Artificial intelligence. I guess we'll get intervention. We can start causing riots. Community, you're going to grab insight. Tired of seeing those notifications. <laughs> Definitely there is a part of me that's thinking about like just turning all these states into vassals. Where is that army of Frankfurt? Great to AI rifles. Leader X, yeah, okay. Why can't I enter the city? Oh, I don't have enough movement points. They're a little short on food. Yeah, you got the power to do it, you might as well. one of the biggest issues is like it takes me one turn to build a to build a unit but like i produce more i produce more production than it costs to build a unit in a single turn and i can't just end up buying like multiple units in one turn so it takes really long times for me to build armies I'm going to stay at war with you. I'm going to have you guys vibe check here for a minute. Dusseldorf, you're building this, but then I want you to just start building AI rifles. Submachine guns don't upgrade. And that railgun tank doesn't upgrade. by brazil aha it is the case brazil has been eliminated their armies have turned into barbarians very good sir
Everything only has two vision range. Which means I can't get close enough to any city to blow it up. Unless I go to war with them. Or I sneak an envoy in. Which is a real arse backwards way of doing this, but... I guess we'll keep trying. I mean, if the answer is envoys... I really just need to, like, sail across, take a single city, and then I could just, like, throw a million envoys out from there. This will be the real question is, can this envoy get to nice, and what happens when I blow it up? What happens when I blow up a faction that I am not at war with? Do they care? Offer Brazil to become a vassal. No, I don't think that's even an option. Like, diplomatically... Yeah, there is no become vassal. Location is empty. All right, well, we'll try that again. <clears throat> Any of these? If I could get there and land, I might be able to see with the hot air balloon. God, they just went like right for my ruler. I have the wealth to instantly build armies. Yeah. The problem is, is like sailing them across the sea. If I can get foothold, which is really all I need, I could build an airport. I could rush an airport on that side of the world. And then I can just, everybody can just start flying over. All of my cities are almost full build. Uh, so they have nothing to do but build armies at this point. Good old Leipzig. <coughs> Here we go. One more turn. Let's slow down going off road. That leader is really close to getting killed, which I don't love. I love that grocery stores are actually starting to become important now that I'm so far like super pop. It's very funny. I, I, I took the worst possible, the worst possible ending for a tall build being like oh you need to have the most population <laughs> like well but i only have nine cities they're limited to how big they can get persia i don't think you thought that through very well giving me open borders it's going to be a bad idea for you. Now, an envoy only has one vision, which I think means it dies when I do this. It sure does. Persia doesn't care that I just blew them up. Uh, okay. The game has changed. <laughs> 
if they don't know who's blowing everybody up, which I guess is the case. Then all I need to do is get open borders with them and just walk units through their cities. Which doesn't feel like it should be too difficult. Uh, these guys are really struggling with education, so let's go for a library. Essen, you're really struggling with education and sanitation. But unfortunately... don't really have any good places to build. Unless I start chopping down all your forests, which I guess is what I have to do. You're going to need an education center. And a poop factory. Which is called... You may never know. Trash heap. Kind of shocked I haven't upgraded trash heap yet. What an honorable sacrifice that envoy took. He definitely bit that bullet pretty hard. Uh, do we have any more balloons? <laughs> we sure do. Global population rate is equal or greater to 100%. So I guess we're going to have to sail across over this way, too. Uh, let's peace out with every faction. Because I'm not really seeing any reason to be at war with anybody. And then we will go a nuking. A nuking we will go. All right, we need like one more guy in here. Leader X. Uh, I guess let's make it a future tank probably. You get bonuses versus ranged, defensive, and militia. You guys get bonuses versus armored and cavalry. Twenty-nine forty-one. Oh yeah, we should probably just get rid of these other dudes. They're too old school to remain. So that'll be three AI army, three tank, and a leader. All right, so this army is perfect in every way imaginable. I'm going to sail them to Hamburg. And then we're going to put them on the sea, and we're going to sail them across, and we're going to take a city. Or, I guess let's see what Zulu says. My other option is, um, just send a settler over. Spain does not want to give me open borders. I can't imagine why. <laughs> they may have figured out my plan. My army is almost a thousand points.
Not quite, but almost a thousand points. I'm gonna come down here and just take out these last villages. Mm, spawns assault rifles in each of your regions. Oh, but I can't be an aggressor in any war. Uh, we completed intervention. We're now at the end of the tech tree. So like... I guess I'm just going to start picking up a couple of other tech before I start taking repeatable tech. Archangel win condition, only possible win con. Currently, yeah, yeah. Except for destroy everybody, which is basically what we're doing anyway. It's a bit, it's a bit funny. I wish it told you what the win condition was going into the age, because I would have picked a different age for obvious reasons. And I suppose I could have just like loaded a save, but it is also very fun to just like nuke planets from outer space. Should we blow up Dallas? Could. Okay, for some reason, not my whole army embarked, disembarked. Yes. 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 Feel the wrath of my space laser. You have invited in your doom, you fools. Like, okay, I could just keep making armies. I guess. Archangel sure is fun, but I like the infinite raider loop more. Oh, the one that like Spiffing Brit did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we pretty much did that by accident in our first campaign. I went raider for my first, um, my first faction and I, I realized how quickly they just become absolutely wildly out of control. I conquered my entire first continent and then just like sailed to the other continent and was like, oh, they can't stop me. I'm never mind. I'll just, <laughs> that's good. Uh, we're going to pump up the Archangel even more because we keep getting constant innovations from alien technology. Oh, you're a vassal. You're just a vassal. Hello, barbarians. It's me, the future. Is there another vassal state over here? There is. Take us a few turns to get there, but it won't be too bad. Uh, all right. So if I go here and then pop up my balloon, I'm pretty sure I can see Barcelona. I'm almost certain of it, in fact. Hamburg has space to grow. Yeah, all of my cities should also grow a bit more now that um, there's less stuff on my side. <laughs> First, just moving in to be like, oh, we're going to make a play on Barcelona here. No, you're not. Don't worry about it, dudes. There's a giant space eyeball that's going to take care of that city real fast. Real, real fast. Oop. 
Poop. 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 Fire! <laughs> All right, I will be honest, it's very fun shooting the giant space laser. <laughs> Make no mistake. I got a social fabric point. I'm not really sure what from, but... I guess let's go... Research cost? Government is maxed out now. Ooh, what is fabricators? Game specialists. Eh. Alien cloning pods increase tar population at target capital for 30 points. I mean, I guess why not? Uh, all of our cities can now have an extra town. I think this upgrades our trash depots. So I'm going to take that next. And then I want to say we go repeatable tech after that. What are you doing bad on? Hard to say. Let's give them the last things. I mean, I'm kind of at the point now where I'm just going to nuke everybody. <laughs> There's no point in super growing all my vassals, all my cities. Like, even if I don't give everybody 200% and everything, they're still growing at such a rate that, like, it doesn't really matter. And we have, like, so many abilities to further that even crazier. does feel like I should probably put a settler over there. Like just in this desert. Cool thing I can do with merchants is I can just turn them to settlers. <laughs> For free. <laughs> Can you not go into the water? Ah, that's how colonization works. All right, you're looking for capitals. These are all vassal states. Every single one of these, which does potentially mean Persia takes a really long time to get rid of. Is that their array? No. No, these are like computer banks. We haven't found anyone else's space laser. Everybody's trying to get an alliance with us now. They're like, this will work. We're sure of it. He'll totally fall for this ruse. Uh, where are you guys going exactly? Oh, awesome. Trash heaps. You know what, just in case, I'm going to take heavy machinery. All right, so the sanitation problem in every city is about to get, like, rapidly fixed. Town has three sanitation depots. Uh, Munich, you have an education problem, so let's build a smart making place. Hell, let's build two. No, actually, let's not.
I am running ideology issues in all of my towns. Uh, we're just going to start upgrading everything. I think I have enough points that I can just start going hog wild. Hello, Toledo. Goodbye, Toledo. <laughs> Uh, Essen is about to cap, which means I got to spend some points expanding its towns. Very good. Have I tried looking into space? Oh, we looked into space. Space looked back. And if I'm going to be honest, did it do as well as I thought it would? I thought the space stuff was going to be way, way more harmful than it was. And they really proved to not be that big a threat. Like, I thought for sure, because I rushed space so early, everybody was just going to get completely destroyed by aliens. And they weren't. They all got, like, mildly inconvenienced by aliens. But that was about it. Huh. A tier 43 city. More like a tier zero city. Goodbye, Spain. Uh-oh. Goodbye, combat balloon. Unless... Horse March? Now that's interesting. It says deploy balloon. But it doesn't give me the option to undeploy balloon. Can I force march you again? No, I don't have the points for it. All right, sanitation solved. Heavy machinery is unlocked. Let's start doing repeated tech. I mean, we could do the whole tech tree. It's an option. Could do the SETI, but can we do it again? Yeah, we could do the SETI over and over again. It just doesn't really get us much. Uh, it's, it's basically the SETI is equal to a Eureka, but like a Eureka at full strength. So if you needed to do multiple Eurekas, you could just keep repeating the SETI project. And you only get the SETI project if, um, if you win the space race or if you go, uh, space focus. Yeah, they're going to chase me off here. Archangel hits full charge. Little did they know it was already full charge. Uh, who am I at war with? Oh, nobody. I guess Zulu is who I will go to war with. They are the biggest. Okay, my capital cities are all like pretty much done getting all the best stuff. How is this new army looking? Oh, pretty small still. Did I forget to fire the laser? I think I forgot to fire the laser. Yeah, all tech sounds like something for an achievement. Yeah, that's kind of actually what I was thinking. Another city exploded. I warned them about the Death Relief 5G towers. 
paella, tapas, and manchego. Best cheese ever? I don't know. I think halloumi might have that title. Yeah, I don't know why it didn't let me move that balloon. What are you? Transporting a merchant. Move that army and that vassal over at the same time. Wap, 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 wap. Uh, Stuttgart. Whatever. Whatever. All right, Rushang, you're going to go to treaties. I'm not lasering something every turn. You know why? It's because I deploy the balloons, and when I deploy the balloons, they get taken out of turn order. So I don't get a notification that they haven't moved because they're locked into a do not move stance. Goodbye. Boop. 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 Things will speed up a little bit once we get this landing point. I think. Uh, this army can just move back up here, I guess. Can you sail off one side of the planet and end up on the other side of the map? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The orange and blue glow over there. That's the sign the Oracle provided. Halloumi, even cheese. You can grill it. It doesn't melt. If you grill it enough or if you cook it enough, it will melt. But that means you've probably overcooked your halloumi. Oh, you're just my Rico balloon. Interesting. Uh, you know what? I think we'll probably build the city here. Golden Age. Dusseldorf will keep making AI homies. I'm going to spend so much money when we built this city. Like, I'm just going to build it, annex it immediately, and then just, like, turbo build as many buildings as I can until I get the airport. <laughs> Probably should blow up that army, but... All good things with time. Hello, we're here for your oil. America Simulator. Technically, all I would really need is an outpost. I guess, thinking about it. Because I think an outpost lets you spawn merchants. But it's much funner if I can run it with armies. Because our armies are basically unstoppable at this point. Nagoya fell victim to the gender reveal party. It's a girl. Ah, yes. Let's upgrade the archangel again. Why not? That seems like a reasonable idea. Bye.
This is way too enjoyable. Tolerance. Ingenuity. I'm not going to spend any of my government money right now because I'm going to need that for the city. I think. Well, this city is not going to be so easy to find. We'll have to see how that goes. Uh, Essen, you kind of have everything you need right now. I think I'm just going to put you on treaty. Munich, you've literally built everything. Dusseldorf. Right, you're just building armies. Did we build it on rock and roll? America. Uh, we're not building any real cities at this point. We're, we're going to build one city in the sand. Just to prove a point. Just so we have an airport on another continent. <laughs> and then we are going to deliver some serious freedom from that airport. Just a non-stop pile of freedom. Territory owner is friendly. Wait, where is Make City? Oh. Huh. Do you think friendly means allied or friendly means something else? Everyone hates Egypt. I could just take this city. Take me a few turns, it looks like. I have to move my hot air balloon. Archangel Lucifer needs an upgrade. I mean, Archangel is capable of, I'm pretty sure, destroying like an 100 population city in one turn at this point. So, 18 inch freedom packages required. Just need a city. That's it. I just need one city. I should probably kill those barbarians. Three turns. my balloon where's my boom boom balloon it needs to move so it can do more boom boom there it will suffice Dusseldorf how is your army your new army doing. Oh, you're only one short. Okay. <clears throat> Should probably send some of my improvement points. Just to upgrade the rest of the stuff in our territory. Our cities have just become like hyper inefficient at this point because... The only thing that matters is the death laser. You know, tired of Dallas. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of Dallas. What did they ever do to us? Uh, 
Uh, boy, there's a lot of upgrades over here to do. Let's do Rome last, because I feel like it's got stupid stuff. Okie dokie. Um... put you guys there I suppose I could like put a settler on one of these islands but god I'm gonna have to probably just go to war with all of you Seems like the smartest decision. I think given the current state of things. Clones on a pop limit. So let's give his towns a boost. Spend all that government points. Space lasers just Persian propaganda. Canceling open borders seems like an error. No, because I'm going to just have to go military. I could get the open borders back at any time I want. But at this point, it seems like it makes more sense to just start like rolling through and with armies. My air balloon got struck by a stealth bomber. <laughs> uh, you know what? Where is my army here? Might as well have them come down and do a test run. Skip, skip. God, moving through forest. Like, it's a hot air balloon. You, you wouldn't think it would have such a hard time moving through the forest. Can't blow up anything. Wouldn't go to war with the U.S. and Greece either. They can go after you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I could just roll the space laser through them. Pretty easy, I think. They're allied with me, so I'm just, like, less worried about them. It would be very fast to do, though. And I guess it also has no penalties. All right, let's see how the AI army does. That's pretty efficient. I can't really follow that too bad. Uh, declare hostilities. Oh, I gotta wait another three turns. I like okay so that one's gonna let me transfer but for whatever reason the other groups didn't
So that's a settler I can actually send across, and we can put it in, like, the old Persian cities. Fighting sword seems more time-consuming than just going in and blasting. I mean, I just need troops over there. That's that's the only thing that I'm concerned about. Like, I just need vision. Mostly, I just need to go to war with Egypt so that I can take a city so that I can build an airport. AI armies are quite effective. If only they knew how to shoot fingers. Mass immigration. All cities get plus two pop. We're up to 40% on this victory right now. So, I mean, I'd say it's going pretty good. Uh, I guess I got attacked there, but that's over with. You're almost in position. I wish you could just like get a, a, a unit that moved through forests and stuff faster. Like I think about in a game like Civ, there's upgrades that you can get to like reduce penalties for moving through mountains and forests. And I don't know if maybe it's just like a special domain, but I do really wish I had that. Making so much government XP, I can't even do anything. Yes! Finally! Boom. I'm gonna blow up Taxilla next turn. What's nice is I'm getting access to all the Persian, like, high-level cities. So they're dropping, like, the maximum amount I can off of a settlement. Off of a population. And Egypt's not going to be able to actually, like, keep pace with our tech. You guys are napping. You're napping. Egypt is one more turn. Uh, I'll give you a smart grid. And then blow up Taxilla. Gold Age. Gotta move the balloon again. It's, it's crazy to see like all of this infrastructure in all these locations just like left behind. With each destroyed city, the frame rate ratchets back up. It's true. It's very true. Honestly, I think the biggest thing to the frame rate was the Aether Clouds. It just feels like they have an effect on them, whatever the particle effect is on Aether Clouds. That's when I noticed the biggest drop, personally. Ah, here we go. Egypt. Hello, it's me, the future army of robots. Yes. Yes. What do I do with you, Settler? I'm actually not sure. Oh, I gotta wait 50 turns to integrate. How do I speed that up? Increase prosperity. Integrate vassal. Plus five. All right, well, that's only 10 more turns. <laughs> that worked pretty well. Yeah. 
Any of these other things I need? Oh, nice. We have like med kits now too. Oh, I didn't realize this. Reinforcements drops combat XP. Huh. Uh, Memphis, you're not quite in range. Okay. My balloon is on the move. I forgot that you had to integrate vassals. It's been so long since we've done it this campaign. Someone left the stove on in Ashen. Definitely nothing strange going on. Oh my God. That ship is out of control. It's going right towards the pillars that support Ashen. Too soon? Maybe a little too soon. You can't see this city, really. Let the sky fall. Man, I love blowing up cities. I guess I could put the settler like right there. Four turns. Dusseldorfed. This is a settler. I think I will make him build a city probably right here on the coast. Ooh, Bursa, you get to live for one more turn. Lucky you. Dexella decided to remodel the entire city's gentrification and process. Incite some rebellions. Here's the thing. I think I still need to see the city to incite a rebellion. I love that all of this is just like smoking ruins. The United States would like to stay your friend. Where is Insight Rebellion? Where is Insight Rebellion? Oh, there it is. on a key improvement in an enemy city. What does a key improvement mean? I think this can maybe only blow up cities that have the satellite dish. No, because I can't do it on Bursa here either, right? Oh, uh, I'm I'm wrong. Uh, enemy, enemy region. Nope. Oh, dudes, I don't have a clue. Beats me. Cities have shielding? They don't have enough shielding. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. They aren't going to have enough shielding.
Do I burst it? All right, so these are all vassals. All vassals, all vassals. Babylon is a real city over here. That's annoying. I have to go back and deal with that. Taxila is a city. Sardis is a city. Ooh, wow, you are almost out of cities. Uh, where do I send you? Big balloon. You can't blow up any of this stuff. Oh, my big balloon. Where do I send you? Out to sea again, I think. Wow, this is a journey to get to this city. Mm -mm. We should probably just go through the town. Does it tell me how many times I've done this? Probably not. I don't need the money. I'm going to go back and uh, complete every single tech. <clears throat> it doesn't blow up cities. It just goes for the things you build in the city. Murder hornets sighted in Bursa. The ground rumbling under a Jawi. Hi, Mona. You coming in to join in the massacre? Dude, I'm still only at 43%. Balint. Two more turns here. Hi, Momo. Short mound. Everybody's favorite. Ah, oh, man. How do I deal with this Babylon? Ooh, can I reposition planes over here? Sure can. It's kind of surprising that the planes don't give me vision of everything. Oh, Sardis is now also a city, and so is Taxila. Yeah, see, the computer is going to just turn everything into a city super fast, I think. As I nuke certain places, it's just going to start running through all of its vassals in the same way that Brazil did. We have another point. I suppose warfare is what we're the worst at leveling up. Robots. It's, it's like I don't even want to spend all the points at this. <laughs> like I'm just like, ah, oh, it doesn't really matter. They're fine. They can handle it. I think once I start getting cities over here and then just start settling everything around it as well. I should maybe start blowing up the USA. Uh, no, I'm going to remain hostile against Zulu. 
Automata improvements duplicate the output generated by workers assigned to them. The automata assistants require at least one worker to function. They always have a power requirement. Interesting. Like we really just skipped on them. Well, I was going to blow this city up, but... Seeing that I can probably just run in and take it. All my guys are super high level. Great. Good capital. That's a way smarter way to do this. Because then I don't just delete their population, I get their population. Brazil couldn't keep up. That's true. That's true. I guess it depends on like how many government points they have. I just feel like I have an infinite amount of government points because I went democracy and they are also democracy. So. <laughs> I can't believe this game turned into a military campaign. Tried so hard not to have it happen. It is also turning into a bit of a slideshow, even on my rig. What are these automata paper factories? I don't know, dude. It's figured out. Oh, I see the problem. Now you have no power, so nothing works. That guy's 20 power. Why do you have no food? Is it just because you're all getting too big? I made it sawmills. I pretty much just have to keep an eye on the power rating of every city. And how many specialists I have remaining. Deleted. Person's coming in here to try to finish the job. Not going to happen. They don't understand. This is my continent now. Mona, hello. Do you want to say hi to everybody or are you just coming in to fall asleep? Maybe just coming in to fall asleep. Careful what you say on stream. The FBI is listening. I don't think that they are. <laughs> I think they probably got some better things to do. Stuttgart, population limit. Again, population limit is kind of one of the big ones for me. Zhang, same. All right, everybody else is good. I think.
Are you serious? I cannot take it as a vassal. I cannot integrate it as a vassal because it is over my maximum cap government XP. It is literally impossible for me to have a city on this continent. Unless maybe I vassalize some of my other cities. I don't know. How do we do here? Do we take the whole city? I hope so. Beautiful. Uh, is that all of you? Memphis, an outpost, and Mendelonium. I have very good vision for up here. Communication. Colonies? Will this give me something special? <laughs> I don't know. Let's reduce culture and generate more unrest from your region count, but you will lose direct control over the region. I'm going to do this, dudes. Three seventy two, one thirty four. Wow, I lost like 20 research doing that. Genuinely shocked by that. Uh, okay. Well, we're super, super de facto here. To the moon, we're done. We're pretty much all the social fabrics. Research is just ticking through. That's it. It's every turn I'm blowing a city up from here on out. If I can see it, it gets nuked. And I can see pretty much any city because I have merchants in all of them. Which I guess is the real trick. No, I'd have to sacrifice a merchant every single time. Which has its own issues. <laughs> like, that city's just been stopping my growth on the continent, so... Uh, you're another settler. Can I, like, airlift you? No. Ah, I can integrate this city now. Very good. Airport. How much money do I have? Uh, infinite? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize I had an infinite amount of money. I thought I had a limited amount of money. I was totally wrong on that one. Uh, what else we need here? Probably a city shield is a good idea. Security office, wastewater practicing. Yeah, sure. Uh, National Museum. Okay. Media network. Digital library will help out. Some extra batteries. Sports stadium for good measure. Maybe some of this, one of those. I just spent all of my money. Lol. Shell Dyer converts shells to wealth. All right, looks, dudes. The only thing I cared about was that airport.
Everything else is for memes. Merchants. Space lasers are already fired once this turn. Uh, you're another merchant. Tech, thank you. Bangalore starts a new attempt at solving the problem of overpopulation. We just gotta, you know, uh, when the population gets out of control, you just gotta do something about it. The funny thing is, is like most civilizations only have like five capitals, and it's just so difficult getting to those five capitals. No, I'm gonna continue this one. You need time to rebuild. I don't think you understand. I'm not giving you time to rebuild. <laughs> Rebuilding was never on the menu. I guess I go to war with Zulu. might not have been my best idea. Well, we'll see what they come up with. Do I have any cities to blow up? You're all vassals. You're all vassals. Lontaxilla Sardis. Could I turn you into a merchant? And use you to explore these cities? That's it. Like, it's just, it's full... It's full chaos from here on out. Nothing but chaos. Nothing but space lasers. There's no other way to win the game. <laughs> I wanted to be peaceful. I tried to build a super energy grid and it tricked me into blowing up the planet with it. Yeah, we did Archangels. I didn't realize what it, what it meant. Hey! Don't bomb me. I'll bring over fighter jets. Probably make sure we keep some money on hand to deal with things like crises. Uh, let's split up our bombers. And then... Here are my fighters. Okay. Gotta give it another merchant here. So we'll just start, I don't know, sending him down. I don't know. I don't know what we'll do with him. We'll figure it out. Uh, these are all vassal states, so I don't need to blow up any of them. Mm -hmm. 
Starting to realize, stop going for anything that's not a vassal state. You got blown up a bit, but I think you'll be okay. I believe in you, Ermi. Oh, cool. My fighter jets intercepted the bombers. I actually took a bit of a whoop in there, though. Aurora Borealis. This time of year. There is actually an Aurora Borealis on the map. Oh, uh, we should probably research gunpowder. Or maybe finance. Oh, administration would actually give us a free social doctrine. That one's actually useful. I suppose I could have just blown these guys off the face of the earth. Would have been maybe the more reasonable option. All right. Oh, I suppose I can't though if they're not a va if they're not a, a capital. This whole capital thing is so weird. Uh, Dusseldorf, I'm going to have you going back to making AI rifles. And tanks. None of these have yet become capitals, but in due time, they probably will be. Okay. Famous young author's chosen fantasy series is Dark Materials. The angels would ravel between worlds through the Aurora Borealis. Travel between worlds. That's pretty cool, actually. Very good books, even as an adult. I probably should be bringing over more air support. There's really no reason for me not to. <laughs> Send gift. Uh, where are my other guys? So I have fighters with me this time. So as those bombers come in, they just get instantly intercepted. And then our death robots clean up the rest. Ooh, I can see that city. You know what? Thank you. <laughs> tired. I'm tired of fighting them for it. I'm just gonna, just gotta go wild. Just gotta go straight in there and just take it. Uh, what are you doing here? You're looking for a capital. You're gonna find one. You're looking for a capital. You have found one. I have to sacrifice you to blow it up, though. 07 merchant. Here's the good news. It's spawn more merchants. I can just keep spawning more merchants and bringing them down. I need someone to look into Babylon, so. Can I spawn an explorer? And go to sea with them? I think that will work.
Uh, and then that's an American city. Kobe is an American city. I can pull my merchant out of there to discover that. These are both American cities. I need to find my way up there. I guess mostly I'm looking for like the Greek cities right now. Olympia would be a big one. I have a merchant in Olympia. I can blow them up anytime I want. My bad. Pergamon then. Uh, I suppose these fighters should keep moving to the front lines. And we keep going. Oh my god. Whole outliner is just planes. We have so many planes. When the aliens attacked, planes were like the only real thing that we could do to stop them. So we made a crazy amount of planes. Yeah, you instantly destroy a city with the Archangels. The only thing is, is it has to be a capital city. It can't be a vassal city. Don't I have open borders with Persia? I thought I did. I never thought about this, but using explorers. Will allow me to see much further than any other unit. These guys did lose a guy. Did we make one at Dusseldorf? Oh, man. Airlifting units rules. Uh, we can give those guys a break. We can give these guys a break for a turn. Let them heal. You should probably move on this final city. So we'll do that. Y'all seem like you have a plan. I'm gonna protect a couple flighters. We'll grab gunpowder. There's no way to raise cities, they say. Turns out. Turns out there's one. Oh, Bruce has got a lot of units over there. I like that it not only raises the city, but it kills all armies around it. So, like, it's such a good way to get rid of certain places. Uh, Zulu's got a lot of guys coming at me. Is it too many guys? Oh, I made a mistake. No, I got out okay. My interceptors ran interceptions. Like, real talk, should I just make a lot of explorers peace out and get open borders? I think that's maybe actually the way to do this right now. What even are you? You're a merchant. Boom! Big 45 city dropped. Not a single percentage made in difference. Man.
maybe we'll found a religion now. Who did I peace out with? Didn't I peace out with Zulu just then? I may be losing my mind. Okay. Like how I'm unlocking like all these ancient technologies. Close them when you went to start invasions. Since you only have one arc per round, you can fight an additional war to get progress faster. Yeah. I think it's just going to take a while to sneak explorers into their capitals anyway, so... I can just go back to war with them if I need. They might not give me open borders is the thing. Oh, all right. Oh, it's protected, vassalized. Hmm. That's going to get me killed if I do that. Unless. Nice. My ships are better ships. Oh my God, only the tower remained. Come make sure that they that they're nice and safe. Where's this guy going down here to Taxilla? I think almost made it. You're coming ashore to look for some Greeks. We've got eyes on Pergamon. I guess Delphi would be the next choice. Every time I blow up one of these guys, I also get a merchant back because I have merchants in all those cities. This, I think, is the last Egyptian city. Yeah. So Egypt's gone. We're at 61%. crazy chaos all the time. We're at 61% on Archangel, so we've actually gone up quite a lot since this invasion has really kicked off. And if I could just get a grasp on these Persian capitals, which I'm very close to doing. Two turns there. I'm going to say two turns here. And then I think we have them. Social Fabric is almost maxed out on all tracks. Oh yeah, Zulu, you're right. Zulu uh, refused the peace. That's why I'm still at war with them. I love that Persia's here like, no, I, I wanted that city. I showed up with all my mini guns and my samurai. <laughs> Now they want peace. Yeah, but now I don't need to give it to you. Because now it makes more sense for me to just start tromping your capitals. I 
and just killing your random squads that are lying about. Mm, I ran out of warfare points. Whoops. Uh, are any of these capitals? I think Nambada is. So we'll move on that. I'm hoping if I delete their nation and they all become vassal systems, then that counts as uh, like, I'm hoping basically that vassals don't count. Goodbye, merchant. You serve me well. It's nothing quite like the sacrificial merchants. Defending these cities that I've taken very well. Oh. Okay, no, I'm fine. I could probably move over all my other like 1,000 bombers. And I suppose that does make sense. What are they doing in our home territory? They've already blown up all the aliens. So can I be a genocidal maniac in this game and nuke everybody? Uh, that's basically what we're doing currently. Uh, but instead of nuclear weapons, we have giant space satellites. That fire like nuclear ion beams. And I got to tell you, they're pretty effective. Oh my God, the computer's too scared of my armies. He didn't attack me. Unless he did. And I'm just lagging. Persia wants an alliance. Yeah, okay. I'm about to ion cannon them off the map, so... We can let them believe for a few more turns. In the arms of an angel. They have it decided to sneak any of these as real cities. Okay. I think... I think... No, they have one more region. Where did they get a city? They have Taxilla, and what else? Maybe it just takes a turn to update. I think it might just be Taxilla. <laughs> They're like, we need you as allies. Something is wiping all of our cities off the face of the planet. It's probably the aliens that attacked from before. At least that's our best guess. You're going to go that way. You're going to go that way. You guys are going to vibe here. Uh, you guys are moving in that way. Guess we can just bomb these dudes. Probably should not be using my warfare XP. Boop, boop, boop. Construction? <laughs> Soon we'll learn how to smelt metals. Just you wait and see. We'll be all powerful. America, hell yeah, here to save the day. 
Poor America is actually not having a very good time. <laughs> they got bullied by Greece because we weren't helping them. And then we just started blowing up their cities. It worked out okay for us. New Babylon! You built this tiny little city on a rock. And then it went boom. So this will be the big one now. When I nuke Taxilla, it should be Persia's last city. And we'll see whether or not vassals count as population. Or like a barbarian vassals count as population. Free cities. No, it still says he has two regions. He must have got another one. Understand. Am I blind, chat? Is there a way for me to tell what its region is? Dude, why can I not see this? There is a new Babylon, you are correct. But it's still not their capital. Okay, none of their borders have capital borders. I'm positive of that. No. Anshin has capital borders. It's a very tiny level four city because that is probably all he could afford to keep. So we're going to land right here and then we're going to move into Anshin. It's going to take us four turns. What a nightmare. In the meantime, let's snowball around a bunch of troops. That actually took way more damage than I thought we would. Where are the Zulu cities? I'll look this way. All right. You can march that way. You found Delphi. You are looking for Athens, actually. You guys are just going to do some joint bombing operations. Just for good measure. We still have some bombers over in Hamburg. Can move them in for next turn. Mm, gotta be a little bit careful here because I will get intercepted by some people. And I'd prefer not to be. Uh, the Babylon at sea, we wiped out with the space laser. 
Ooh, I want more water, but we're also very close to being done this, I think. I'm pretty sure if I can just snipe all the capitals, that's it. And it seems to be very doable. Can you imagine, man, if I just did the other path, it would have just been probably like build a bunch of spaceship parts. Oh, social doctrine is a power that gets me a wild card. I did not realize that. Okay, <laughs> I'm almost maxed out on wild cards. Extremely close. You're just going to make your way towards that city. You're going to make your way towards that city. This is rough. I'm fighting a lot of cannons and space soldiers. But they still do like a sizable amount of damage. Oh, my interceptors are also starting to get trashed here. They need to heal. Uh, Seattle is another capital here. Okay, I don't have any of your capitals. Oh. Goodbye. That wipes out a 600 stack army as well. The last technology of the game, defenses. Soon we'll be able to defend ourselves. Mm, I don't know if you'll get attacked if I go here. I think you will. So let's just move you for right now. Kind of the same with these guys, but uh, you know what? Let's give it a shot. Snipe bomb some explorers. <laughs> this guy's just out wandering through the jungle, exploring. A couple of stealth bombers go overhead and just absolutely drone strike him from orbit. Roma's up to 80 population. I've really given up on paying attention to my cities at all at this point. If I could put them on repeat build soldiers, I would. Repeat command is something that I'd like to see, especially for this like late game stuff where you're really just like clean in house. Uh, no, I'm going to continue war with you. Excellent. I have made an archer. <laughs> Very good. How useful you will be. Attack them next turn. We're going to move in on this capital. He's made another capital region. This is a bit annoying. Uh, it's Babylon. It's new, new Babylon. I sorry, Newton. I missed you there. That's what you were trying to point me to. All right. Well, it's fine. We'll move through Anshin. We'll nuke Anshin. We can move straight down to Babylon with the Explorer afterwards. You know me, man. I'm blind as a bat most of the time. All right. I could go back and fight these armies. Or I could just push on his capital. Realistically. I should probably fight these armies. Mostly because it gives me a spot to defend and heal. 
it also gets rid of his all of his air support so i can go back to stealth bombing all of his troops without fear of retribution you're already maxed all technology unlocked yes correct zero turns to unlock the final repeatable tech that's nice uh we do have a space laser ready so if i can't see any zulu capitals these are all capitals here but i'd kill my own army if i blew that up so let's blow up delphi 69 old 69% uh we'll take the last level of tenacity here hopefully my army at Luxor doesn't get too walloped right now Persia is also taking cities from him which is kind of nice Truth be told, we might get a point where we're just allies with every... If we destroy Zulu, I think we're allied with every other nation. So do we just win if that's the case? We probably do. Uh, attack this city, force march, attack it again. Capital down. You move to Anshin. I nuke it from orbit. You move to Babylon. We nuke it from orbit. Uh, you guys can probably chill here for a minute while you heal. Poor Greeks are like, what is happening? <laughs> All of our cities are exploding. <laughs> I love having all these stealth bombers on hand. Uh, I guess I'm going to move these guys like way up here at this point. Because they're not really doing anything back in that territory. Mm, and let's just put you on treaties. I leave for an hour and you still haven't destroyed the planet. We're almost. We're over 70%. Am I being attacked here? I probably should be paying attention. And also, like, if you get attacked and you have airplanes, do they just move to another city or do they get wiped out? Laser is ready. All of these cities would be more worth taking considering their super high population. Can I be greedy? I can. Oh! Surface to air missiles. He's got five regions left. Damn, dude. I'm impressed. Mm, where are my bombers? Huh. 
I love it. Now my army can go do something else. I guess kill these ancient tanks. Ancient World War I tanks. All right, well, there's Seattle. There's Athens. Greece also has five. United States also has five. Uh, I mean, if this is the case, let's go for the high level capitals. Like Thebes. It's population count, right? So that's kind of what actually matters. Your fighter's there. Your fighter's there. I'm okay with both of those. Uh, yeah. Next turn, we max out, max out all social tracks. U.S. up to six cities. Yeah, that's the thing is like you get at this point and I'm pretty sure you just you're making so much government XP every single turn that you can. And as you lose cities, cities become cheaper to integrate. So you can just keep integrating. Honestly, the fact that the space laser can't blow up vassals is kind of, in my opinion, pretty stupid. It would make hella more sense and also make this less of a chore. Oh, they lived. Uh, all right, well, if I give him a turn, I had to take reinforcements. Oh, I can't. Never mind. Click them around the menu. Okay. How is the like population here? Capital attack available. Yes. All my city militia here are dead. So I think I'm going to move my planes out of here so they don't get destroyed. Temporarily. The cities are a mess. I feel like things just got really messy. As soon as I started getting automata. Like the moment we started making robots run all the farms. I no longer had the power to actually run all the farms and everything just fell apart. Back in the survivors, you're right. Military victory takes forever. Yeah. I mean, we would have won this literally two, two, three hours ago if we had taken the other path. Oof. Just enough for a med kit. 82% and that should be Persia based on this leg that's Persia excellent okay so if we're at 82 now the big question comes up Oh my God, they all count. Maybe it takes a turn to calculate. I need to make an army to go capture all those cities. I think, or someone else is going to do it. And I'm going to have to deal with that. 
There's like barbarians everywhere too. All right, where's Dusseldorf? I don't understand how Dusseldorf's production has gotten so bad. How much money do I have? Infinite. One, two, three. Um, four, five, six, one extra for a captain. Uh oh, well, we can promote him in the field. Airport to Ichawi. And you just march to whatever the next city is you can find. That one, I guess. Did I lose the city? No, they actually backed out. Put those guys with everything we got. First, just got all these like barbarian armies on my doorstep now. Uh, which might be an issue, but kind of hoping not. Would it be a way quicker for me to go through there? Probably. Uh, you can stay there. You guys attack them. How bad are we looking here? Super bad. Let's move these guys over to Nongoma. We don't have enough army. Just throw money at the problem. Oh! Okay, so that was it. So killing Persia dropped me from eight, uh, pumped me up from 82 to 100%. Through superior technology and the strength of our people, we have conquered all other nations. The world is unified at last under one banner, the glorious banner of Germany. Oh my God. So the key was actually explorers because they can blow up cities without being killed themselves. <sighs> My God. It's called Millennia's Paradox's take on the Civ life game types. It's like Civ and Humankind, yeah. Uh, I believe I have maybe crashed my game. <laughs> yep, yeah, spinning blue circle. Oh no, there we go. Oh, so cool. You can just look at the map. This computer built seven clay pits. And are these all just dwellings? Hunting camps. Dude, did Zulu ever tech out of the Stone Age? <laughs> That's very bizarre. I guess it's a vassal, so they don't have so much stuff, but... Wow. Wow. I guess we hit the confetti. I don't even know where my confetti button is anymore. Oh my God, dudes. Thank you so much for joining us for our first run of Millennium. Uh, it was meant to be a tall playthrough that ended up turning us to us exterminating the planet. But it went out in a glorious way. I'm glad we got to like at least see a little bit of the military by the end of it. What a joy. What a fun time. I really like this game. I think it's got some work that needs to be done for sure. Uh, some things need to be like polished off. There's definitely some balance that needs to happen. Uh, there's a few things that I'm like, oh, that should not take this many turns or that should be quicker than this. Uh, and some automation, some like uh, ease of... When you're, when you're dealing with a lot of cities in the late game and you're having to build like a whole lot of things, just being able to click a button to say like automate city would be really good. Turn on AI control without having to vassalize. Uh, because when you vassalize, you lose like so much from the cities. So, but I, I really enjoyed it.
I really enjoyed it. A tall, peaceful playthrough that ended up fat and genocidal. Bopped by the aliens and just build those after? Oh, maybe. It could have been the aliens that ran through Zulu. You're right. Yeah. How would I compare it to Humankind? I've actually never played Humankind, so I don't know. I cannot comment. I can see it as a fun game. I, I really like the way that it branches differently um, and the way that your kind of like cities get to build. It does seem to lean a bit towards blobbing really heavy. Like even building tall, it kept kind of pushing me to be like build more vassals. Uh, which is a little confusing. I think all Paradox games suffer from this, at least when they first start, where they're like, we want to offer tall playthroughs, but everything just rewards blob style. And then they bring in better tall mechanics later in the game. I'm very curious to see where they go with this and how the patches go along. Because right now, I think it is a very, very strong contender, but it does need balance. So if they spend the next couple of months putting out some like really good patches i think we've got a very good contender in the 4x space i certainly would love to come back and check this out a little bit more so hopefully we will in the future in the meantime thank you for joining us